Can you live? I should be live now. Well, I'll have, might have to refresh the page because I know mine. Mine's taken a while to come up. There we are. I should be live now. Yeah, we are live. Well, we're at the win as well, and I know mine. Mine's taken a while to come up. There we are. I should be live now. Yeah, we are live. We're at the win as well, Ange. I know, mine, mine's taking a while to come out. There we are. I'm sure we're live now. Ange, we're at the win. Well, what do you want me to do? I, I, there's nothing from my end. Ange? Hello? Oh, you can hear me. Um, Have you moved to YouTube? I have. I moved it. Oh, I need I need to refresh my page a minute. Right, why isn't the live? Oh, there it is. Hi, everybody. I can see three people are watching. So, hello, if you are watching. Hi, uh, hi, everybody. Hi, Julia. Oh, I can't see any comments at the minute. Oh, I've been just popped up. Oh, I'm gonna refresh my page so I can see the Hello comments. Hello everyone, Country Creation said. <laughs> I can see the comments now. Hi hi Rianne, hi Julia Mazalins. Hi Mrs. G, hi Rianne. How are you doing? Um so I wait for everybody to um come in. Um we haven't got that long, have we? In, I was just telling Ange I'm as you all know, I'm having my living room sorted, um decorated. So it. I've got this thing that everything needed to be sort of organised before um, us emptying the living room because the last thing I want to be doing is taking everything out of the living room and then trying to organise it for it to go back in the living room. Anyway, I was opening, I was organising this cupboard today, and I was having really anxiety, panicky moments because I had to throw things out, and in the end, I had to make three separate piles. So there was a definite pile for the things I were keeping. There was a maybe pile to the things that I hadn't quite decided yet. And then there was things that had to go out in the bin. So the definite pile was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh, and bigger. Hard, <laughs> so Chris went, you have to throw things out. We've got no room to keep them. I went, yeah. and look at them. They're just brand new. You can't. And it was miniatures, by the way. <laughs> so I was like, I'm really detached at the moment off of the miniatures. And Chris went, you have to throw it out. I said, I can't. And then in the end, he came over and he was trying to organise me. Can, want... you not, um, can you not um, donate them so that it's not throwing them out? It's, re it's like recycling, isn't it? If you donate them to um... charity yeah but it's not it's not something i can like the units go into charity the things i can go to charity we will but miniatures tend not to sell in the charity shops well hello shwadavi hello Jill. everyone hey Ju joey hi julia my darling country creation is me yeah <laughs> So I've yeah, typed yeah. in the chat. So Angie, would you like to type in the chat so everybody knows who you are on YouTube? Um, so I'll leave Angie do that. So I'm with um, the lovely Angie Paisy tonight. Um, so if you're a voice, it's the lovely Angie Paisy. Um, and she's going to type into the chat bar so you all can see her channel because she's also got a channel here on YouTube um, and she makes fantastic things and she has been up to quite a bit this week um, and she did put out a video was it yesterday day before I am still haven't watched it yet because I'm no time but it's on my um, I'm going to binge watch YouTube all this weekend so Angie's video is on my binge watch so right, can I just say she put a video up last night right and uh, i he made me watch her video yeah half an hour long half an hour long i right i was so excited i was excited to what i'd made I I mind me you still haven't watched it no i haven't watched it yet i want to be fair i i have been busy i wanted to see when i watch videos i want to give appreciation to something from watching so I always like to take the time. If I'm going to watch a video, I always like to take the time to what they're doing. All um, right, I'll let you off then. Details. I have a pre-key. I have a problem. My keyboard won't let me 
type, type the letter C or the number two. So I may be a bit quiet while I think of words that don't have that letter in. Oh, my darling, Maria, if you want to type the letter C, if you just put S W E, then we'll know it's the letter C. And if it's the number two, um, just put T and we'll know it's number two, if that helps at all. Hi, Dee Dee. Hi, Dee Dee. So um, if you can hear the lovely Angie's talking, for those who've just come in. Um, so we have picked up um, the same project tonight to do, um, but we're going to do it in two different styles. Um, Angie will explain what kind of style she's going. But um, Mrs. G, we just put a star and we'll guess the word. Oh, yeah, that's a good yeah. idea, Joey. <laughs> um, oh, bless her. So what I've got in front of me, um, the project we decided to do, three, and ready on three, two, one. We decided. Mm, they can't see me anyway. They can only see you. We I'm going to click over to you in a sec. We decided to do a, what did we mm. decide to do? I was planning on doing it together, but she's a bit slow tonight. I forgive I'm her. I'm doing a cardboard box. <laughs> One, two, three. We're doing a, a cardboard box. A cardboard box. Oh, and she's doing a tray. No, she's not. She's doing a tray. Um, so what I've done is a few little techniques that I tend to do when I'm altering things. So I sort of prepared my tray, but I'm hoping Angie hasn't prepared hers for you to see what it looks like prior to yeah. that. Um, I okay. can't believe you've done that. Yes, I did. I did prepare it only because there's a few like little bits and pieces that I want to show, and those few bits and pieces take a little bit more time to do. Um, so what I thought was, I'm going to flick over to Angie. So I'm going to go through um what I've got on my table. I'm going to show you what I've done. So this is all I've done so far. Um, it was a plain tray and I painted it in black acrylic no I'm not going to steampunk before anybody asks and I am lost my marbles Um, I'm going to try and go I was originally going to go Christmas with it so I haven't got a Christmas tray but then Chris said no why didn't you do it to match our room so I'm going to be going um a vintage oh, your room black yes I've done black for a reason this is why I've done black because oh, the technique I'm doing it includes using black acrylic so i've painted it in pure black acrylic all over the tray um i've got um chalk paint white chalk paint it's called antique white in front of me i'm giving that a good shake because of the paint's dried up i've got some paints uh, brushes in front of me a sanding block i've got a bowl full of water i leave you guess why i need the bowl full of water and no it's not for my paint brushes because i've got a cap for my paint brushes um, the bowl full of water is from somewhere else. And then I've got various um, of different style napkins, all like different colours um, that I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing with them. Um, and I've got these um, that were gifted to me by the lovely Amanda. So, Amanda, if you're watching, thank you so much for these. They are beautiful. Um, so, yeah, that's what I've got in front of me. So I'm going to flick her over to Angie before she says, they can't see me. <laughs> Are you going to see Angie's desk? So, Miss Pete, Mrs. G, do you know what's going on? Shwadafi said. Um, do you know what's? No, nobody knows what's going on. Uh, um, none of us got a clue. It, it's sort of kept under wraps as to why I've got a bowl full of water. Yeah. Angie doesn't even know yet. Um, and as the little techniques, I'm going to show you. So nobody as of yet knows what's going on. <laughs> Joey, so, or is that it? Oh, here so I am. Miss Paisy is now on. So she's going to now show you what she's got in front of her and what project she's doing. She is doing a tray. She's not doing a cardboard box. So, come on, Miss Paisy, we are watching. Right. Um, I'm doing a I'm doing a tray, but as you can see, I've not done anything to my tray yet. No. But I have a tray. I have a paintbrush. What do? Oh wait, and a bit. It's, is it lagging or is it me? It is lagging. Okay. So you've got oh, some paint brushes. Yeah, there's my paint brushes, right? That's what my tray did look like before I painted it. That's all I've got up to now. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to paint it, right. it while I'm, we're on live. Okay, what are you going to paint? What are you, what are you using I'm to paint? on the tray. 
I am, yeah, painting the tray. Okay, <laughs> I'll rephrase. What paint are you using, if any? Ew. Um, I'm going to gesso it and then I'm going to paint it pink and dink. All right. Okay. So you're going to gesso it. After that, once it catches up, yeah. I'm using paper. Uh, we, we can't see it in a minute. All right. I'll hang on. I'll hang on. Hang on. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, look at that. Ask me paper. Gorgeous, and she's gorgeous. Stunning. What yes, that's the paper. I'll move it all around. What um, paper pad is that, do you know? Um, it's from, I got it from Crafter's Companion. It was some woman, and it's called her Shabby Sheet Range, but I can't remember what her name is. And you can't get it anymore. I've tried. Oh, that's the pad that you got me last year. Yes. I What's that size? Is it A5 or A3? A3. A3. Yeah, and that's the, other, that's the other side. Wait a minute. I might have the little slip. I usually keep the little slips. Mm -hmm. I'll be able to tell everyone what it was called. So bear with me. Because um, you got me that card last year. It's gorgeous. It's really nice to work with. Thank you, Joanna V. She said pretty. Pretty, pretty. So I have to get my mat out now and start painting. Excuse my horrible mat. Wow, Julie lives in Alaska. Hi, um, Nuri. Hi, Nuri. Wow. Hi, Alan. Uh, be beautiful. Beautiful. Purdy. I haven't got the um, thingamajig, Ange, but I do know. I haven't got much thing magic. I didn't keep it. I can't remember what her name was now. On Crafter's Companion, she has got a she has got a range out, but I can't I really can't remember. I'm the only one from the USA that loves these ladies. Oh Dee Dee, that's so sweet. Oh. Oh bless. Am I am I the only one from the USA that loves these yeah, ladies? No, no, I doubt it. So Quite where is everybody USA, wanting it? it from? We've got somebody from Alaska. I can see the comments. So somebody from Alaska, somebody from Dee Dee, you're from USA, and you, my darling. I better get on start mine because she's she's already um. No, you're all right. Don't take your time. Um, I'm just gonna go through the comments. Okay. Then. So I'm using um who made Jesso? Made you who made you? Yes, Cheshire. Yes. Um, do you want to explain how you made it, or shall I? No, not really. Right. Okay. So I. I don't know whether Angie knew. I think you knew before, didn't you? I but did. You sort of make it out on my rescue for you. And what it is, you get. Um, I'm gonna flick it back over to. Let me get a jar first to show you, and then I can show you what it's made out of. So, North of England. I think mine's slightly different to use because I use corn flour. I didn't use flour. Flour. Um, so Dee Dee says Oklahoma, yeah, USA. So these are what the ladies are watching us from, right? Oh, wow, Oklahoma, I love, love it. So Cheshire, Oklahoma, USA, North of England, Alaska. Wow, that's amazing. New oh, I'm in USA, New York, New Year's. You see, love your askance on your videos. Oh, bless. Right, so I'm going to flick back over to me, Ange, while yeah. you're doing. And I'm going to show the ladies... Um, what how i make my own gesso up okay darling okay yeah okay so i don't let me i'm gonna check that it's keep, needed to keep up and go back up the page there it is so how do you make your own gesso so gesso i this is how i usually make it up gesso is made um i have a pink one and i also have a, this is my this is my white one so this is my white one and this is my pink one um so they made out of um pva glue they so you need this is the first thing you need so white acrylic about a quarter of a way depending on what kind of jar you're using and then you need to get your pva glue up to half of the jar so you do a quarter each time and then what i tend to do is add in um a teaspoon a small t 
teaspoon of flour and I give it a really good mix. Um, but Angie uses, as you just shared, uh, she uses um, corn flour instead of flour and it works both ways. You can use talc. I have used talc before. But what tends to happen is because the talc is so fine, um, it does take a lot of talc to get it going. So with I tend to use flour, plain flour usually, and it doesn't. I've been asked this question loads of times. Does it go off? No, it doesn't go off at all. Oh, mine went off. Mine was all mouldy. Um, we have like a mad science this moment, but every time I did, it's never gone off. So <laughs> half a teaspoon of half a teaspoon of um flour. What flour do you plain flour usually, Nuri? This is what I use. The glue. So. Shall I make some up? Uh, go on then. What am I starting to do? But I'll make some up because sometimes you can't envision some somebody explaining. At least I can't. Somebody's trying to explain it to me. I think, oh, I wish they could Would make. Would you it. like to make some up, ladies? Yes. Go on, Angie. Shout to be loud. Would you like me to make some up? Sorry, am I shouting? No, you're not. I'm messing. Oh, my husband's got the flu and he's got, at the moment, I told him, you better get some cough medicine because I said, you, for that life-threatening cough. He said, why is that? Because if you don't shut up, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> You're so loving, Ange. I've gotten some cough medicine anyway. I'm going to flick it back yeah. over to Angie while I get my materials out. Oh. I'm going to flick it back over to you All right. while I get my materials out to make the gesso up. Okay, no, it's not very interesting what I'm doing. I'm just painting, but I painting all of it. So I don't know why I'm painting all of it because I'm not for it, covering it with paper. Mm. My picture is so white, isn't it? I need some flour. I'm going to head to my kitchen at the moment. Let me go and get some flour. I shall be back. Keep talking, Anne. They're watching you. Yeah, so um, how's your week been? Your week been week? Your week been then, ladies? I went to a wedding on Sunday. Um, a lovely friend of mine. She's, um, it was a bit strange, actually, because her daughter like the story is she'd been married before she met this lovely man called dan and they've got um they had a baby together and she was born on memorial day so they called her poppy well they got married on sunday which was memorial day and it was a beautiful wedding and then we went round the back in the other in the other side of the church they had a room and when we got there, there was, it was like a tea part, a kiddies party with cupcake, a cup drinks and cakes and all sorts. And then the room was cleared. And when we went back in the room, there was two bouncy castles for the kids. So that was my um, cue to leave because I love children, but ch children's parties. Uh, but yeah, it was a uh, not a regular wedding as per se. But it was lovely. She had a, she looked beautiful, man. She got ready at my house because her mum passed away when she was young. So she asked me if she could um, get ready in the morning at my house. So I was her standing mum for the day. She looked beautiful. But yeah, it was fun. I can't end the smell of baby powder. Oh, I know. I made it with baby powder, but yeah, that custom, um, imperial leather I used. And um, yeah, you're right. The smell of it. Oh. No, I didn't do. I've not used it with baby powder. Do you think I should do the bottom? Do you ever see the bottom? I'll have to dry it and find to see. So that's it. I don't know what she's doing. Sorting out her cupboard. She's back. She's back. Right. 
Oh. I got the wrong thing. <laughs> oh, did you see the, the picture, Dee Dee? Yeah, she made me have a picture done. Bless her. And her, her fiance um, bought her a locket and he put a picture of her mum in it. Um, so she could wear it on her wedding day. And she said she was getting ready and her friend was helping her. And she said, I want Ange to put this on me. And, and it was the tiniest chain you've ever seen in your life. And I really struggle because obviously I'm blind as a bat and I. But yeah, I got it on her in the end. Bless her heart. She's such a sweet girl. But she had 25 bridesmaids. She's like the Pied Piper walking down the aisle. They were all bridesmaids and page boys and fantastic it was i am back right come on then are you ready yeah um you should flick it back over to me any second now ladies there we are okay so my um my dryer what can you hear my dryer going? Yeah, but it's not in. Don't worry about it. It's noise cancelling, isn't it? The microphone, so. Oh, Julia, thank you for coming in, my darling. Good night, oh, Julia. Julia. Show up. Right. Um, okay, so how to make your own dress. So you need a jar of any kind. Now, I usually tend to use the smaller jars only because it takes up, I find that it takes up a lot of your materials that you're going to use. So if you use a small jar, you can always make up another jar. And the other thing is as well, if you use a small jar, you can always make up one to sort of alternate the two. So I have a, like a little jam jar here. And first thing you need to do, now I don't know how much is in here. I'm going to be making some yellow, um, like a lemon color dresser up. So um, acrylic paint first. Now, if you use white acrylic, it's already got the dye in there. So if you want white gesso, you just put white acrylic in. Um, to make the pink one in, um, don't forget pink and white make red. So just put the pink in. Um, so I'm gonna make um I'm gonna mix the yellow. So this one's can I, can I just stop you there? And, white, and it'll make um sort of like a real I'm going for like a pale yellow. Hi, Marlo, my darling. Hi, Marlo. What do you want, Ange? You said pink and white makes red. Don't you mean red and white makes pink? Yeah, well, yeah you know what I meant. That's right, then. <laughs> oh, God. I don't right. know if you can kill me. I'm going to call her Theosaurus, Angie. I told her the other day. That's wrong. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I help myself. Right. I've got... I might need to get the other white out, actually. Like I say, it does take up a lot of paint. And uh, you can use any sort of acrylic you want to use. You can make up any colour you want to use. Hi, Carla, my darling. Hi, Carla. How Don't are you? Oh, thank you, Julia. Oh, bless. Thank you so much. What did we say? Don't forget to give Claire a thumbs up. Oh, yeah, definitely. That would be lovely. I better do that now, and I, while I'm here. Okay. So I've got, if I shake that around, there's, a, there's about that much in there. So I'm going to now add a bit of my yellow. It does take a lot of paint up. Marlon said, uh, did your kit arrive? Not yet, Marlou. The minute it does, I'll do a video on it, I promise. I'm going to use a little bit of yellow because I don't want it to be... You want it to be yellow? Yeah, but I don't want it to go, like, really dark or, really, or on the other hand, really light. That would be a good colour to use if you were um, doing, an, um, oh, what's it called, vintage? Yeah, that's why I was going to do yellow. All right <laughs> she get there now right okay so i've got my pink now i'm only gonna make half a jar up like i say you want to make a full jar you go to a quarter of your jar with your paint if you want to make half a jar up 
You literally only want a tiny amount of paint in there. Hi, Julian, my darling. So, Hi, Julian. I'm going to put the paint to one side. The next thing you need is some PVA glue. Now, this is school PVA glue, the cheapest of cheap PVA glue that you can get your hands on, only because um, you use to, if you pick up the really expensive glue, like I say, it does take up um, a lot of glue. So to pick up really expensive PVA um, just for a gesso, um, all depends on whether you want to pay that amount just to make your own gesso. I tend to use school PVA. It works just as well. So I'm going to like saying I'm going to make half a jar up. So now I'm going to go up to about a quarter of the jar with my PVA. Let me show you. So there's my PVA. That's where my PVA stopped. My paint stopped there. So I need a little bit more PVA. Like I say, it's a lot easier if you were making um, a whole jar up. There. So that's my that's not anything else. That noise. Right. I'm going to get a real good spoon and I'm going to just mix this with the back of my spoon. So I want to get the colour right before I start getting, before before I start putting my flour in to make it a bit thicker. Hi Vanessa! Hi Vanessa! So this has turned out like a creamy kind of colour. It needs a real good mix, mix of the paint so that's the color i've got it's almost like it's off white it's not um and i will put some of this on a paper for you to see the color you can mix your um i'm making jess or vanessa you can mix your um acrylic sap to get your personalized color can you see it's almost like an off-white it's absolutely stunning right okay i'm gonna make sure i've got all the paint off my brush and then with some plain flour some paint on the end of my brush with some plain flour. Now I'm using plain flour. I usually um I'm usually got my you know how you can get by measuring spoons? I usually have um measuring spoons to determine how much flour I put in, but I can't find my measuring spoons. So you I had them the other day. um say again. You had them the other day, you was using them. No, that's what Chris said. That's why I kept calling him because I didn't know where they were. Um, so I am using a ice cream sp scoop. So I only want show you how much I want. I used a lot more because mine yep. was corn flour, so it was not as thick as that. Right. So I'm only putting half a teaspoon in. Now you can add more, you can never take away. That goes with anything you make in craft. You can always add, but you can't take away. My nan always used to say that to me when we were making Welsh cakes. So I'm adding half a teaspoon. If you're using the measuring spoons, it's the smallest spoon on your measuring spoon. So I'm gonna put that in. I'm gonna take my spoon, and I'm gonna really give it a good mix before I stir the jar. You know, a, what they could shake the jar, sorry, not stir. So the flour is going to make your gesso thick. And this is what will make your gesso. Now I've found every time I've used flour, it never goes off. But Angie, I know you made a batch and you said it wasn't, it didn't come out the way you like. No, it just went moldy. So, but... I see how thick it's gone. If it's too runny and it looks like water, then add a little bit more flour. 
if it's too thick then you know you've gone the wrong way with it what i've done if it's too thick is i've added a little bit more of pva and i've added a little bit more of my paint now could you put, could you put more water in a bit of water in if it was too they, thick? um i've tried that but it don't work oh, the water yeah. makes it more runny not um it doesn't go the opposite way so if it's too thick add some more pva and a little bit more of your paint if it's too runny and the opposite way add a bit of flour so now i've got the stir back again give it a really good stir because that flour needs to go into that paint to make the dress up so i'm gonna I'm going to put that to one side and I'm really going to shake this jar and that will make my dresser up. And I'm going to tip the things on the floor. Excuse me, I'm going to... Okay. That's the colour. It's like an offset colour. And I need a piece of paper to show you what it looks like on a piece of paper. Okay. Let me okay, this is my paper. That's what it looks like. And that is what I've used yellow and white so i know I, it's not going to come out as much as um as the acrylic as the yellow acrylic but i didn't want it to come up that much uh you know as bright as the yellow acrylic i wanted it to be an off, off. Uh, yeah it's really white yeah it is it's unlike it's between um hi susan how are you between um it's between a it's not white completely white let me show you the white acrylic then that will determine you can see how yellow it is in the pot anyway i think i read in, i read you can color. plaster paris too yeah to make just can you i think you can use plat yeah you can i have seen them use plaster um and yeah you can rian but i've never tried it myself and the only reason i've never tried it because even though i like having my mad science moments i hate mess and using the plaster um the plaster does it go on uh, then? Yeah, it does go thick. You don't put as much in. I have seen them do it. Um, oh. But I just, for me, it's a lot of mess. But I have seen them do it. And it, it does, it's supposed to come out as good as that, what I've just made up. Oh. So, yeah. Work, try what works best for you. Um, and you can make any colour you want. Gesso is quite expensive to buy. Yeah, um, yeah. So you can make any colour you want. Now I've got a range of white, pink, and like um like a cream, an offset cream. Now I will keep the cream out because I want to use it in tonight. Me may as well use this since I've made it. Um, right. Now I'm gonna start um on my tray. And then I'm going to flick it back over to Angie because what I'm going to do on my tray, I want you guys to see what I'm doing. Okay, so I hope that helps anyway uh, with me making that um, gesso up. Um, and the other thing I really want to make up have you ever made um, gritty gesso up, Ange? No. What is it? It's like, um, like texture it's paper. Like gesso, but it's got. Like grit in it. Dee Dee said, gritty Jesse. Dee Dee, yeah, that's what Angie uses. She doesn't use flour, she uses cornstarch. And hers come out just as nice. Hi, Susan, my darling. Kind of gritty. Oh, well, then perhaps I can need to make the plaster because it's gritty gesso. Oh. In England, all flour, it's cornstarch here. Oh, thank you, Susan. Oh, yeah, same. Yeah, we Susan, put I powder. use baby powder to make mine. I know you can use baby powder. I try to make baby use baby powder, but I found that you need quite a lot of it to make it up. Or perhaps I wasn't making it up 
the right way. No, you have got used quite a lot. Um, fine. Yeah, but yeah, you can use. I mean, work. Use what works best best for you. Now, I have got my chalk, um, and it's called antique white. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to flick her over to Angie because bless her, she's been crafting there. We haven't been able. No, to I'm fine. I, I'm not even caught up yet. You so, all I'm going to do is give this um, chalk paint a nice good coat on my train. You're probably thinking, well, why if she's why uh, I was collecting the black? There is a reason for it. Um, anything that I'm altering like this, I tend to use um, chalk paint only because A, it dries a lot quicker and B, um, I get a good result from it. Um, but you can use gesso, and I will be using the gesso I've just made just for you all to see what I've made up because I am going to be making my um, tray into um, like a vintage style almost um, because I want that, that sort of style um, on my tray. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like on the back of the tray. And then, Ange, we're going to flip it over to you. So that's what it'll... Once I've covered the entire tray and getting... Are you on the bottom of mine? Are you on the bottom? Uh, do you think I should? It's up to you. Do you want to do the bottom or are you going to cover your, the bottom of yours in felt? Well, I, I don't know. I, I thought of felt. Well, you can cover yours in felt if you wanted to, so that when you put it down, it doesn't scratch or anything. I might, I might cover it in paper. Oh, there we are then. There we are then. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to cover this entire thing in um, chalk paint. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to flick it back over to Angie. But I hope with me making that gesso up, you guys have been able to see um, how easy it is to make up and what results you can get from making your own gesso up. But I definitely want to try, I don't know who said it, um, about the plaster and using gritty, using it as grit gesso. Because that's the next thing I want to make up is gritty gesso. You can get it, um, you can buy that plaster Paris stuff in um, Obicraft. But... Yeah, I think for plaster, um, Susan, I, I don't know. But the plaster I've read up on about is, um, you know, like plaster they put on walls. It's on you, by the way. Oh, I know, it's so you know. plaster Paris. Just to let you know it's on you. Um, yeah, you can oh, the ones I sort of write up on is um you can you can put the plaster that they use on walls um instead of PVA, that's what you put in. Or you put a part of that in, sorry. So yeah, that's what I'm that's what I um that's how I make my gesso up. How are you getting on, Ange? Well, it's a bit boring. I'm just drying it. I do. So how many coats have you done? I've done one of um, gesso and one of pink paint, but it's all going to be covered in paper. So, are you just giving a base to your? Yeah, just in, yeah, just right around the edges and that. So, ah, uh, right then. This should be fun. I've got to measure it all now. Right, let's get rid of the. Make sure it's all dry. Yeah. Get rid of that. It's horrible. So yeah. Right. Bearing in mind, I've I've never done this before. So. Oh. Bear with me. Then then I'll the tray. Yeah, I'll just get my going to get my cutter on oh, it as well. I've never oh, you can get it like thick paste or dry powder. Ah, right, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's the stuff I want to try because that's supposed to get, give you like a gritty gesso, almost like a textured paste, almost like a textured um, paste. Yeah, that's supposed to be really awesome. Right then. Let's do some measuring. Um, have you made texture paste up before? I have. Did it come up the way you planned it? What can you remember? Um, when you... heck, yeah, it did come up the way I planned it, but I can't remember how I made it now. I think I just I put more of that um cornflour in, just made it thicker. That was it. 
All right. No, I all right. So you didn't it didn't have sort of a, like a grit texture to it? Mm, no, because it was flour, so it was it's silky. Mm. So this needs to be eleven and a half. Eleven and a half. See the stuff I want to try is like, almost like a grit inside it. Two. Um yeah. and it makes real good like um because you know like sometimes I do mixed media and I use my stencils. It's supposed mm. to be really good for that because it raises the whatever you print your stencils up. Oh. Mm. So, very interesting. Yeah. What end shall I start at? Here we go with my paper again. And I've been really busy this week. I've been crafting. Um, there are a couple of projects I can show you tonight, but some of them I can't. And the reason I can't is because it's Miss Paisley's Christmas present. Oh, really? Oh, no. I was making it the other night. I said, oh, I wish I really wish I could show you. She went, show me what? I said, well, you can look like. Right. So show me what I said your Christmas prize and she went, Oh yeah, charming. She said, Collect. <laughs> yeah, that's not very nice, is it? I really want to. Only two of those. And I was on my sewing machine. She went, You make what did you say to me? Are you making um She was on the sewing machine and she was on there for about half an hour and I said, What are you making me? A parachute? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put the dryer on now. I'm just my I turn. Wondering what you'd use gritty gesso for? I think you use it for as like a, um, like a texture. I would. What I what I want to use? I'll tell you what I wouldn't use it for to give you a sort of an idea. Um, when I make my cards, I want um it to be. I like textures. Anything textured, you've got me right away. Anything that's raised, anything that goes for lace, anything like that, you've you've got me. So I would I like to make a dresser just to put on cards, so that whatever pattern I'm putting on my cards or um, my mixed media sometimes i do like i go crazy every now and then i'll do like a mixed media page in a book um and i want to use my stencils more and be able to raise it and it sort of when you um put your hand over it it almost feels like dry sand that's what i would want ah. i would want to use it for carla said that paper is gorgeous angie Oh, thank you, Carla. I just see where we got it from, but I can't. What is it? Crafty's Companion. Yeah, Crafty's Companion. But I, Angie did buy me the same paper pad last year for Christmas, but I, I can't even remember what it's called. My last two pieces of this, I've got one, this one, and another one, and that's it, then it's done. Of this, this pattern, but obviously I've got more of the paper pad. Right then, here comes the pink today. Wondering that DD made by adding texture on the canvas of central. Yeah, that's exactly what I would want to use it for, Julian. Exactly, you've got it. You put the nail on the head. That's exactly it. If you use a brick or stone stencil, it's nice to have brick to the texture. Yeah, definitely, Susan. Definitely. Like I would want to use it because I, as you, some of you may know, I like miniatures. So I would want to use it like on the outside of a miniature house or something. Definitely, that's the kind of things I would use it for. So I need to mix them up. And yeah, I don't know whether you could use like put sand into gesso, and that would give you grits, maybe. For some people, use salt, don't they? And have you seen that? To give them what? the raised texture, they use salt. Do they? Yeah. What like rock salt? Uh, yeah, the thick, the thick, thick salt. They use salt for the texture. And, um, what glue should I put on that? Stick it down. Again? What glue should I put on this to stick it down on wood? Um, your gesso, I would. Gesso? Gesso, yeah, you could use your gesso or Mod Podge. I'll Mod Podge it. I think you may use sand. Do you think so, Ruth? I was, th I was thinking, like, could I use sand for it? 
I don't need glossy, do I? Yeah, you could use yeah, you could use sand, couldn't you? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Can you add sand to like um say you made a batch of gesso up? Could you add sand to um some gesso? Would that give you the same thing as the grit? Yeah, I, I, I think I think so. So like you say, I know some people use uh, salt. Um, and when they've done like a mixed media project, usually what they tend to use is use gesso and then they get some salt and they um, throw some salt on the whatever they're doing and that gives them the same result. Yeah. I was thinking, yes, they make fine children's sand you can buy. I, yeah. Um, you've all got me like wondering now whether I could use it. You do realize this. Next slide will be let's find the salt on the sand. <laughs> Year ago. When I'm making gesso up, I, I get air everywhere, and Angie often says to me, Oh, you're having the mad scientist moment. I went, Yep, I'm sure I am. I actually get it everywhere. Oh, serious stuff it is. I do, I put the pinny on like I've got tonight. <laughs> I go all out when I'm having a mad size. You want the pinny on, have you? Yeah, of course. Right, that's one bit done. Yeah, what do you think? I can't see a minute. Let's see. I know. Not to worry. Show me again. I can see now. Oh, and that's beautiful. I just watched one yesterday using coarse salt. It dried all the liquid up and dissolved. What made a mess? Fine sand is better. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So I'll do the next bit now. I'm just stretching the edges so it looks. Um, this is for my room. So obviously, I've done my drawers in this paper as well. My little drawers. Yeah, you love Andrew New. Yeah love this paper i'm so sad it's nearly all gone and i did go on and see if i could get some more but it's i put it in the search bar search engine whatever it is is it search engine or search yeah, yeah search engine i'm hoping yeah i couldn't find it gone gone forever still i got lots of it in my room so i'm happy about that Are we still on me, yeah? Yeah, we're still on you. I'm just painting oh, now. Thank you very much, everybody. I'm crafting my watch. You should see my hands right now. My poor laptop. <laughs> oh, oh, bless. Thank you. Um, thank you, Dee Dee. Thank you, Rianne. Thank you, uh, Simon. Uh, I wonder what you're making, Carla. Is there something Yeah, let us know. Or is it a secret? I wonder what she's making, what she's been making. She's she's done her floor, she I'm did her decorations, and now yeah. she's starting some Christmas. So you know what I did the other day? I went on to cut I um at night I usually watch YouTube and Carla really inspired me the other day. And I tell you what she inspired me for. I don't know how it came up, I think it's one of your old videos, it's not fairly new, um, but it still inspired me, needless to say. And it was um, a video on how you took leaves from the big, huge, gigantic leaves from the garden and how you made a fairy house with it out of clay. Wow. And when I went up to Angie, and Angie doesn't even know I did this, but when I went up to Angie's, as we were um, driving off, um, I said to Chris, I'll pick those leaves up off the floor. And he went, these leaves? I went, yeah, those big, huge, gigantic ones. He went, why the hell do you need them for? I and mean, I want to make a fairy house. He went, Clet. I went, just pick them up. <laughs> so I came home with like four big, massive leaves. Have you not got no leaves in Wales then? Not big like that. Not maple trees. Not maple trees. I'll send you some in the post. Not maple trees. I was like, I'll pick them up. I want to do a fairy house. He went, where have you seen that? I went, blame Carla. <laughs> Carla's fault. Carla's fault. 
I think it's nice when you see things and it inspires you. I've been watching some um, videos on um, eco paper. All right. Some of them come out. I don't know if I could get a saucepan big enough to boil some paper up, but some of them come out lush. <laughs> she said, what was that? Oh my gosh, Colette, that's so funny. I make my husband risk his life getting leaves on the side of the road. <laughs> I know, you should have seen him. He said, I can't pick the leaves up. He said, we go all the way up to Bristol to pick the leaves up. I went, yes, pick them up. <laughs> yeah, and um, Susan said, me too, Carla. Everything has paint or glue globs on it. Yeah. Definitely. They're wet here, Angie. Oh, are they? They're wet here as well, I think. But we have got some, I was looking at the leaves. They are absolutely beautiful colours on the ground at the moment. Ours is as well. They're all green. I love like the colours. Yeah, you know what you mean. Really nice. Oh, God, look what I've got to do now, ladies and gentlemen. I've got to cut that out somehow. That should be fun. Use a craft knife, and not it? Right, so the inside... gonna be smaller. What have I done with my ruler? What have I done with that? Put that. Inside it is. Turn it round, Angie. An inch and... I'm gonna flip it back over to me in the next... Oh, one. lovely. Hey, Fine. It should flick them back over to me. Yeah. There you are. You're on. Right. So all I'm doing, as you can hear, my heat guns on. I've got a dabbing brush and I've got some chalk paint in the pot. And I've had to add water to it so you're drying out. And because I want the, the inside of my tray to be um, adult, with the brush, is leaving brush strokes, especially on the inside. So I'm using my dabbing tool to dab the paint on top as I dry it. And that will leave me with this kind of a fact, which is on this side. And even as I am drying the tray, it gives me a real nice effect on the inside. I've never done a tray before, but I have used this effect on other things. Like what? Um, what oh, um, my canvas. Oh, yeah. Canvas, I used it on that. I think you've got the canvas I made. You want it somehow. I can't remember how. Or I sent it to you. I can't um, remember. What canvas was that? Was it, what was it? The dress? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I got so as you one. can see, if I was to do a brush stroke, show me what I mean now. Look, it's going to leave me with some brush strokes. And I want it to be quite thick on the inside with the chalk paint. I'm going to flick my tray over to do that edge. And my pink is starting to get dry at the bottom. This is what I tend to do when I start dry. Oh my god, I can hear myself think again. I get some water in and I put the lid on and really give it a good shake. Oops, it's going everywhere. That would be the name of the game left. You can see it really gives me a real nice effect. And then once all this is dry, I'm going to show you um, what effect I'm going to 
do want it and why I've covered it black to begin with. Brush, it on the side of my brush, and I'm just dabbing the sides on it. Over at the top. Okay. I should do it now, and I just need this to dry. I leave my brush out in case I need it. I can't, but I will leave it up just for a few more minutes. So let me leave some of the comments. So you should go to try and sell Benjamin and Sock Susan said about your tray, Angie. It definitely Thank you so much. Gorgeous Angie D said. This is G said lovely. And um, Susan says everything has pink and glue gloves on. Oh definitely. Everything in my pattern is definitely got glue gloves on or pink. Um, Alice is on the brush. This is they went, they were wet too, too, and so all I'm gonna do is dry this and while I'm drying. I'm gonna flick it back over to Angie, you can see Angie, and then I'm gonna come back over when my dry is completely dry. You can see the effect, and I wanna leave. So, Angie should be on you any minute now, okay? Okay. Well, I'm still doing what I was doing before. That's okay. Right. I'm making a mess, of course. Right, so I'm doing the inside bits now. I might have to I might have to break into my other sheet of paper, which I'm really unhappy about, but it's got to be done. It's got to be used anyway, hasn't it? Yeah some point it's just my the hoarding in me I to hang on to it forever never mind so yeah ladies if you're um we i used to i used to hoard all my stuff at one point and then I just I said to Claire, I said, why don't why aren't we decorating instead of just making things for other people? Why aren't we decorating our own our own things? No. I remember you saying that. To yeah. Me. Why aren't so, we our own instead of just sending like things out for everyone else, I started using it for my my craft space. So now it's quite well, it's pretty now, isn't it? Yeah. Every time I go into Auntie's room, I'm always amazed because she's done something new. And... Yeah, you sit there going, oh my God, and I think, what? Because, like, it's normal for me. Well, I'll be coming for the royal visit, won't I? So, when yeah. I come down to see your craft room. Yes. Yeah. You're doing what I did. Good tidy up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tell you all. See what I got to put up with. <laughs> that's a good tidy up. Well, that's what I do when you come. But she doesn't. It looks like that all the time. It does not. I'm telling fibs now. I made that bit a bit too long. So it's coming together. Right now. You finish now. Um, yeah, I'm just going to wash my hands and then I'm going to do my little tip and why I painted it black to begin with. Ooh, together, why I painted it black. I'm not losing my marbles, I promise. Even I want to know why she's done it. Yeah. She, she keeps me in the dark. Yeah, I even said to her, she didn't even know I painted mine before we went live. No, that was just cheating. No, she didn't even know. Wait, where's the rest of the paper gone? Um, on triage, perhaps. Oh, here we go. Last last night, I was trying to find. Not one. She was going. 
right remember where you were when you were? i was like yeah i knew that so it's gonna be the same length in it which was 11 and a half then no it wasn't measure twice cut once yes Right. Are you all intrigued why I am back? Yeah, go on then. You all want to know? How I, I mean, I could, I could just craft you, and you know, I'm horrible at holding, especially things people make for me like swaps. I treasure them. Oh yeah, I've got them everywhere. Yeah, I mean, the elements of hoarding. There's a method to her madness. Yeah. Right. Are you ready? Yeah. I don't know, we'll wait and see. All right, I'm gonna flick it back over to me. Okie dokie. And uh, I shall see if I have any all in blood. You should come clear now in a second, and you'll go, ah, oh, that's why she did it all in black. Oh I've done that wonky. Right, are we back? Yeah, we are back over to me. So why did I do it all in black? Well. If you paint black into paint, if you paint black on something you want to alter, and then say you covered it, you don't have to cover it with chalk paint, you can cover it with gesso, anything you want to cover it with as long as it's sort of paint. What you could do afterwards to give you that sort of vintage look is you get a sanding block and you start sanding the edges. And what will end up happening is the black you can, hear it. you can clear it but we can't see it yet that's it the black will appear through the paint giving you that real shabby style vintage effect mm. wait a second you have to give it a real good sand down so I didn't lose my marbles. Now can you all see why I painted it black? Are you sure you haven't lost your marbles? Ah, uh, so. I, I left my years. I don't consider myself to be a hoarder at all. If you try to buy the things you need to make every craft you couldn't afford it, you have to save back. Wow, that's a brilliant way of yeah. I don't consider myself at all. If you try to buy the things you need. To make, make every craft you couldn't afford it. You have to save back. Yeah. I do tend to do that. It's not hoarding. I do tend to do that. The only thing I think I hold most than anything else is my miniatures. The only thing I, the only reason it's hoarding is because I love my miniatures to death. And what I went through a phase of buying with miniatures when you make a house, you've got to get all the furniture to make a room, and then you perhaps would want to do another room, so you'd buy furniture for another room. So it came to a point where um, it got me a narrow boat, and it got me numerous caravans, and it got me. Um, oh, I can't tell how many caravans have I got. One, two, three. For four caravans and one narrow boat and two doll houses, all in miniature, all in one size scale. And it's that that I hoard rather than anything else. And I think I do tend now, if I'm doing a project, I do tend to do that, Susan. That when I'm making something, I go, right, what do I really need to buy? Um if I'm going to make this project or work now, I'll go in my box first before I go out and buy things. I do find it hard if you go into a shop and you see all these pretty things and you think, oh, well. but only if I do, t I do find that hard to walk away. I must admit, I, um, and that's the same online too. So it, takes, it, it takes a long time to build up your stash as well. I mean, I was looking at maybe doing a, a junk journal, but then I kept watching and thinking, oh, I haven't got that and I haven't got this. Do you know what I mean? And I'm going to need that if I want to do it. And yeah, it, it does. It, it takes a long time to build up all your, your stash of stuff. I call it junk. So as you can see, it's giving me that real nice, soft, vintage feel to the, to the tray. And I'm going to do the inside, as you can see, all the outside is done. 
So when you do an inside, now because I don't want most of this to come off, I'm just going to go around in circle motions. And that's why I dabbed it on instead of painting it on. But the more coat you put on, obviously, the more you have to sand. But that's why I did a black coat. Ah, it's all become clear now. It's giving me real nice. It reminds me of like an old vintage kitchen. That's what it reminds me of, and what you would see in that. That's what it reminds me of when you see old things like that. Got so all this, and then I'm gonna show you another little thing I'm gonna do. So, would you like me to flip over to Ange for us to see what you're up to? Um, or are you quite happy with I'm me? I'm happy crafting. Yeah, you let them watch you because you're much more interesting than me. Oh, Ange, man, it's true. Little things. It's true. What are you doing at the moment? I'm gonna flick it back over to Angie now. I'm just putting in, I'm just putting the paper on. Oh, let's see. Let's on. see. Let's see. Not the paper on. Not interesting. Doesn't matter. Let's see you put the paper on. I've got some bad news for me. Why? Well, I've only, I haven't got enough paper left, so I'm gonna to have to. Um, oh, and. Oh no! I'm gonna to have to cut into my final sheet. Oh. Uh, it's bad. It's sad, isn't it? Right. right, Susan's curious. What are you curious about, Susan? What I'm up to next. Ah, <laughs> see? The comments oh, are not good. Good. I'm just I'm just taking a more command you watching the comments and I'm just going to make it. She's keeping us in suspenders. I am. I am keeping you all on pins to see what I'm doing next. <laughs> Even Angie didn't know what I was going to do tonight. She knew I was going to do the tray. She didn't know I was going to paint in black first. She certainly didn't know I was going to do this. <laughs> um, and we talked about it last night. We said, oh, what's going to do on live? And we decided we do the tray. But last night, I thought I was going to go Christmas. But I had a look at my stash. And even though I've got two Christmas napkins, I'm going to do some of my napkins, by the way. I've got two Christmas napkins. I haven't really got that much to do um, anything in Christmas theme. What you all, what you all are hiding? What are you all hiding? What is the paper pack called, Angie? Um, oh, Angie doesn't know, Dee Dee. But what um, I'll do, and what we'll do, because I know if I try and think of something on the spot, my mind goes blank, is um, we'll try and find the paper pack online, and I'll put the link in the description bar. What do you think to that, Ange? I tried that, but I can't find it online. I tried to buy well, some I'll, more. I'll see if... If me and Ange will try and find it online, and if we can't, we'll try and find it online. We'll put it in the description bar because Angie's forgotten what she's called it. What it's called? It's called Shabby Sheep, but it's by Crafters Companion, and it was a paper pad there that I had out last year. By um, this lady that does it on there. I can't remember what her name is now. She's got other. She's got other collections on there. Right. I'm going to flick it back over to me now. Are you okay, Miss Ange? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. By the way, your tray is looking truly stunning. Show us Show me what it looks like at the moment. I know you're cutting paper. Oh, Ange, that looks beautiful. Truly beautiful. Thank you. Just getting over the upset. Yeah, she got to cut it into our last paper tray. Find your packlet and send me the name. I will do. I do, I do keep the as you all know. I keep the little. Um, yeah, she keeps everything. I keep this little slip, so I have it's got it. Really, in I it. Promise, I will. I will send it to you, Dee Dee. I'll let, let you all know what the pack is called. I got an idea where I put the slip. Um, but I need to go in boxes. So, is it on me? Do you know, Ange? Um, not yet. Okay, it's getting there. It's still not yet. Right. I know it's not on me yet. I'm just going to get my um, napkins out. All right, it's on you now, love. Okay. Look. 
Right, okay, so there's my tray. I have my bowl of water. Ooh, what should I use the bowl of water for? And I have my up. and I have my napkin. So my idea is a various different napkins. I have that one. I have this one. This is absolutely stunning. I love that one. I have this paper pink one. Um, I like the image on that one. I might use the image on that one actually. And then I've just got these like background ones. I call background ones. Newspapers. That kind of thing. So what I'm going to do first off is I'm going to use this one because I like the image on this one. And then I'm going to go back to using these tulips. But I'm going to use the big one first to show you what I'm going to do. So for this little technique, you obviously need whatever you're altering. You need a bowl of water, which I've got. And then you need a real fine, thin brush. So let me see if I can find a thinner brush than this. I might stash. No, that's not squirrel. Is it Yes, I think it is, um, Rianne. What? The paper pad was by Sarah. Frank. She was definitely oh, Sarah's yes. one. She yes. had gone there and she was smiling. Yes. That yes. Yes, we know good in a lineup, would I? Yes, yes, yes. I do this. Ah, yeah, it was. Okay, so move my tray to one side for a minute. And it wasn't the standard 12 by 12, it was um, a what? A3. It's a bigger one. Bigger one. It was the bigger one. Right, I'm gonna. Oh, I'm painting. I'm gonna cut it this way, I think, because I want to use these roses here begin with i'm not going to use my scissors right so my little tip for you when i'm using napkins and i want a certain pattern on my napkin take a real thin super thin brush reveal the napkin from the tissue paper behind you've just got the napkin so you don't want the tissue paper unless you do want the tissue paper of course but i don't and you take some water dab it in your brush so you've got so it's almost like a damp and then you take your paintbrush and go around the pattern that you want making sure there's water on your paintbrush the whole time it obviously needs to be a clean paintbrush Going around pattern. So we're hoping you can all see what I'm doing. Teddy's uh, Teddy's off. Teddy's off. Right. So because I put water on there. It will easily tear. See how it's starting to tear? So I'm not using scissors to cut this out. I'm just using my paintbrush and water to cut this out. And it's going to go around the pattern. I'm going to move the bowl this side now. It's going to go around the pattern, then I made it to go around. And that will give you what you want out of your napkin without using the scissors or anything. See how it's tearing? This is the searching. See how it's giving me the perfect pattern. So all I'm going to do now is going to take these, um, what would you call them, the dark bits out of my, my, out of my pattern I want.
there, I think I've got it. Right, then I'm going to take my tray and it's going, it should fit here and then I'm thinking of overlapping it almost like that. So take your brush, now I'm going to, I'm taking um, a thicker brush for this because obviously that was quite a thin brush. So I'm taking a thinner brush for this. I'm going to go over the um, napkin in a second. But while I'm sticking it on, I'm going to use water because if it gets stuck for any reason, I can move it. I can also, um, if I don't like it, I can also tear it because there's only water at the moment that's on the napkin. And I'm patting it instead of brushing it. I'm using my paintbrush and I'm patting the napkin onto the tray. What? And then you modge podge it after? And then I modge podge it after. And that will give me idea. Now give me my perfect pattern that I want. Oh, so you're not just a pretty face then? See, this is why I needed the bowl of water. Ah. and that'll sink into the tray as if the pattern has always been there a mayonnaise in amazing a mayonnaise in mrs g searching she, she's still searching oh bless her You've got you've got the lady searching, Ange. Well, if they find it, I want to. I want. I want the link to it definitely because I'm devastated, to say the least. I'm now cut, using a craft knife to cut my card. So I'm you know, gonna, I'm gonna, you need. Ange, once I've done this, I'll flick it over to you. So do you want to wait on that technique so the ladies can you see what you're doing? Because if it's a technique, perhaps they'll be in a technique. Everybody's done that. I don't want to I don't want them to um watch me chopping my fingers off now. Shut your face. Right. <laughs> so that's how you would do it. See? And that's like that it completely has gone into the tray. And I've only used water. So what will end up happening now is I'm gonna I'm gonna do the exactly the same to the other side. And if you wanna go all over the water, you can. But that'll completely stink. Stink. That'll completely sink. <laughs> that'll really completely sink into the tray, into the white and into the black. So it's almost as if it's always been there and you have never stuck it on. But I haven't used the scissors. I've used my paintbrush and some water to do it. And carry on because that's interesting to watch. Oh, gosh. Look, you do found it, but it's out of stock. Oh, oh. Is that in stock then. Right, so I'm going to put my tray to one side and again, taking my napkin from previous, I'm going to swap my brush to the one I had. No, that's not the one I had. It's this one. So that it's thinner. See? And you just take your bit of water. Now I'm using also, before anybody asks me, this is lukewarm water. It's not cold water. Um, I don't know where the difference I've always used lukewarm. I've never used cold. Okay. So I don't know whether it would give you the same effect if you use cold, but I always use lukewarm. I'm just following that line all the way around my tray. Oh, it's very pretty that um what you put on there on that side yeah yeah really good and that's a really clever idea because once it's stuck down it's stuck down in it you yeah. can use mod podge whatever and it is i move it see once, this, once you you start using glue and you can use any if i decided to use wet glue um when i first did this what will end up happening is if i want to move it it's going to tear because it's napkins um, and I've taken the tissue from the behind it, taken that away but because it is so pretty and delicate if I was to use a scissors I know that I would never cut straight it just wouldn't happen and because it's a flower pattern I can 
use the method of tearing it a little bit. See how it's almost teared around the edges? So again, with what I did in the other one, I'm just taking the dark bits away. Yeah, that's good. Oh, at least I didn't say discontinued, Susan said, yeah. Oh. oh, Vanessa, well, um, she's got to get going now. She's got. Oh, thank you, Vanessa, for popping on, my darling. Oh, thank you, Vanessa, sweet lady. Um, yeah, thank you. Hopefully, we we'll see you next time. Yeah, definitely. So I'm going to stick this down, and then I'm going to flick it back over to Angie because I definitely want to see what she's up to. Thank you, Vanessa, for popping on, my darling. Awesome projects. Thank you so much. Right, so you can measure it so it's the same side. So with anything I do, I always like to move it slightly so that I know that I've made it. Somebody, um, a friend once said to me, if you made a mistake in your own work and you've done it on, you've done it, then you know it's your work. If it's perfect, anybody can claim it as being theirs. That's true. So true. And I never once thought about it like that until she said it to me. But don't you think that when you everybody's got their own slight st their style, when you could look at certain things and think, yeah, I know that's been made by a certain person. Yeah. Like you, for instance. If everything, mm -hmm. yeah, if I have something in the post and it's in pink, I know before I've even opened the card, it's from Angie. <laughs> really? Yeah, you got your own style, Angie. Oh, with you, you're like. Um, if it's like snippets and and you reckon I'm really good I can good tell, I can tell. you're the snippet queen oh, yeah, that's what she keeps calling me and she's the pink that'll make you the pink queen then for sure really and Carla would be um the clay queen because she does a lot of things in clay doesn't she Carla well she has but she's uh, I don't know her I love when she works with clay. It's, it's actually um, her crafting is evolving. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely evolving. I think when I was watching that video on uh, fairies, Carla said her first love is is clay. Yeah, that's what she taught kids in school. Apparently, was clay. Well, it's really weird because before Carla put any videos up about the. Um, um, like obviously crafting in this way i used to watch her videos or clay videos which is really weird yeah. I don't know. yeah so yeah it's um so when she got into the this side of it i was thrilled absolutely thr not you know not that her clay's her clay's amazing yeah and I would say Laurel, who's Forever Purple Creations, if you ever have something off her and it's in purple, you know that Laurel's made it, for sure. Everybody's got their own crafting style. They Definitely. So, as you can see, it's given me a real good fact. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip it back over to Angie because I want to, um, I'm going to decide on what I want on the two sides. I might use the same napkin to all the way around, but I won't do anything further until you guys see, because I definitely want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna give, flick it back over to Angie, because she's crafting away, bless, and we can't see her. Well, it's not very interesting. I'm ha you're definitely the snippet queen, Claire. Oh, oh, thank you so much, Julian. Everybody calls me. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be going back to teaching clay and Jack. Oh, I know you're going back. Oh, to wow. Yeah. I love it when you work with clay because you've got such a natural, um, you can just pick up clay and you sort of, you know how to work it. I mean, I like working with clay, but you've just got, I, I don't know. Um, the flair. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm trying to get at. You've just got that thing where you sort of, when you pick up the and you even come to the end of the video, you know you're going to make something brilliant out of it. Right, so I've um I've done the ends now, but I've got to do the middle inside, not the middle. Oh, Angie, that looks beautiful. That looks absolutely stunning. Thank you. Oh, look, you've done. Oh, I see what you've done. You've taken your card and you've made the template for the side. 
No, I just put it on the paper and cut round it. That's what I mean. You've made a template for the side to cut round in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful Ange. Ooh, sticky. And have you distressed some have you distressed the edges? I have, and I've inked them as well with my pink lip worn lipstick. I just got a re-inker for so it. What inks are you using? Can you show us? I'm using distress oxide in worn lipstick, and it's the most fabulous pink ever. Can I you just, show us? Um, yeah, I'm showing it. Ah, oh, beautiful line. And I just got the the distress oxide, the the reinker for it. And yeah. I filled it and it only used about a quarter yeah. of the bottle, I think. So this is well oh. worth it. Yeah. Everybody says you should just get another yeah. pad, but this is worth yeah. it. I've yeah. Got, this has got a ball in it actually. So I've got one. I've, I've got a reinker, but it doesn't look like that. I think it's because the oxide. The normal ones have got like dropper bottles, haven't they? But this yeah, is... that's the one I got. Yeah. The oxides. But yeah, and I'll give it a go and I've, so I've put how, quite a lot on actually. So how are you um doing the paper? Because obviously we haven't been watching, you've been watching me. So how explain how you've been doing it? Um your paper. Everybody's seen me doing it. I've just been distressing distressing, distressing around the edges. Yeah. <laughs> with the little tool. Yeah. And then ink around the edges and then sticking it on. Oh, wow. And I love it. I love it so much. It's beautiful. I've got to do the insides now, so this should be fun. Gillian says, that's gorgeous, Angie. Carla Thank says, Angie, Angie, I watch your videos over and over. You're so natural and fun to watch. Oh, oh thank you, Carla. To say. I know I so what, you, what you said the other day about, yay, yeah, you're back. And, and I yeah, thought that was so sweet. Yeah. I, I keep telling her to do some more videos for you guys. To see I, lost me, I lost me mojo. I lost me, um, not me but it's not me bottle. No, not, not the confidence, I would say, to the back. Yeah, I just felt like the, I wasn't good enough. I don't know. I was stupid in it. It was silly oh. what the mum does to you. And you read a couple of negative comments or you get a thumbs down. I know we shouldn't go on about thumbs down, but sometimes it does affect you. And it shouldn't really, because I don't I'm, I don't want people to be on, watching me that not happy to see it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I just lost my mojo for a bit, but it's back now. In fact, I have got, do they, I feel a nap coming on. I haven't slept with this silly cold. But I, if I fall asleep, I'll rewatch. I want to see. Uh, oh, thank you, Susan. Thank you, Susan. Thank you so okay. much. Yeah, you can't find it in stock anywhere. I know. I tried myself, but never mind. At least I'll have a beautiful tray to look at. Um, what was I saying? I can't remember now. About the thumbs down and it been knocking your confidence and it shouldn't affect you really. See, I don't see when. I know what you're saying about. Yeah, I know we shouldn't. We, we shouldn't really give it the time of day, should we? So. No. Oh yeah, but I, that's what I was going to say. I don't know if you know, ladies, but one of my one of my videos, which I'm very proud of, has had two point one thousand views. Wow, and two thousand one hundred and sixty-three views. <laughs> What's that all about? Just one video out of everything. Everything is like 45 views or 39 views. But this one video is it's mental. So, and that was making foam flowers of all things. And they, they weren't the best. They weren't, and they turned out, did not turn out that good. Oh, and they're beautiful. I remember coming back from Hobbycraft buying foam and I went, and I bought foam. She went, let me see. She went, it's the wrong form to pick your flowers. I went, no. Yeah. It was, um... I was wondering whether we could, um, I'm going to show the ladies, I'm going to do the sides. Are we okay, Ange? Yeah, sure. I'm just going to do the insides now. And then I'm going to obviously put some else on it. Might put some pearls on it. Oh, we definitely want to see that for sure. But while you're doing that, I'm going to leave it on you for a few minutes. Because I want to see the comments. So, Vivian says, you have a gorgeous tray. Wow. Susan says, thanks. Gillian says, oh. you're a brilliant crafter. You explain everything so well. What would we do without you? Take no notice of the thumbs up. And Gillian says, wow, see all those views. 
Wow. Yes, it was my, I can't believe it. I keep going on and thinking, what, what are they seeing? Wow. I think it's where they're searching for foam flowers because foam it's wrong it's flowers. Yeah. yeah. And then they have the unfortunate, <laughs> they unfortunately come across mine. Oh, but no, 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 I shouldn't, I shouldn't talk like that. Two and a quarter, two and a quarter. Right, I'm going to flick it back over to me because I want to show the ladies how I'm going to. All right, my darling. Okay, my darling. Yeah. But let us know when you're doing the pearls because we want to see that. All right. No problem. Yeah. So, all I've done is I've cut a piece out um, for my side. I'm going to put this on and then it's I'm. On me. Oh, yeah, it's back on you now. I'm going to show you how I've cut the hole in the centre and how I've done the outside. So. It's going to be a bit awkward. I'm hoping. Can you see it? Be a bit awkward because I'm doing the side of the tray. I'm hoping you're going to be able to see it enough to know that what I'm doing is the side of the tray. And can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, move, move, move it towards the move it out a little bit away from you a tiny little bit away that onto, way. Your, onto your pink mat a bit more that way now no move the old tray onto your pink mat oh, i can't because if i do that it, you're not going to be able to see it at all oh that that'll have to do then won't it that's right yeah <laughs> Just Stand up. Oh, yeah i'm gonna hit it get pulled off it's like she's lucky she's outside of the camera. I tell you what. <laughs> Interesting. Right. I'm going to put this side on and then I'm going to show you guys how I've done that side. Oops. See how I make a mistake and I can rectify it. I'm doing water, I'm not doing the glue. They can see it. Yeah. Oh, thank you guys. As long as you can see what I'm doing, you know it's me. Right. So the side of it. So for the side, I took my napkin, the same one, and I'm going to use. I don't know if it's the same flower. Yeah, they are the same flower. I'm going to use this section. It's the same flower on both sides, right? Hi, my dear. So I have two brushes again. Use the thinnest brush to make your mark around your napkin. So all I'm doing is I'm making my mark where I want my napkin to be. Just tear it away. Hi, Maddie. And I'm going to tear that side away. And then, because I'm going to use the thickest brush, because I want to be able to get rid of this section, um, because that's what I did on the last bit. See how I got rid of that section? And you can keep the bits that you don't want to use on this project, and you can use them on another. Just dry them out on a radiator or somewhere where you've got a bit of heat, and you can reuse them, because it's only water at the end of the day. It's not glue. I'm going to move that out of my way. Oh, that's and I'm going to move it around and all the while I'm just being aware of how much I want to take off right okay and I'll be able to reuse these pieces because they haven't glue on okay so how did I do the side so take your tray, no, and my tray's going to have to go like this, guys, because I can't um, hand it up because it'll be on hitting the camera if I do that. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tray, I'm going to go right across that um, handle. I'm going to take the thickest part of my brush, my thickest brush I've got. I'm going to put a lot of water on it, and I'm just going to go where the handle is. I'm just putting water where the handle is. Take the napkin off. Now you should be able to, if you lift the napkin slightly up, it should sort of tear apart where the water was. 
See, I should have put, I should have done that on mine, shouldn't I? It would have been much more interesting. Oh, yeah, but I like the idea. I like the fact that right, you've done paper on yours. Yours is beautiful, Ange. Yeah, we did. Well, it'd be. Yeah, we did say we were going to do them different, didn't we? Yeah, and not only that, yours actually matches your room. Yeah. Okay, so I've got my piece now. Bring it over to Carla said that, um Maddie said hi from sunny Florida collect oh. and everyone else and Carla said that, that's a brilliant tip it's like the napkin melts around the edges yeah exactly that is a brilliant tip and I'm just patting this on now with some water I can sort the inside of the handle out in a second. I'm not bothered by that at all. Will it start falling off once it starts drying? Nope, it'll dry and I'm gonna put what in my podge on this now. It's water at the end of the day. So if you didn't want the design, say you changed your mind, you're thinking, oh, I wanna take away, you can do, just tear it apart, it's water. Um, once it dries, I'm going to dry it with a heat gun because obviously I want to show you guys what I want to do to it. But I'm going to be putting Mod Podge on it and then it will completely stay there then. Where it's supposed to. So this side's obviously gone in, in more than the other side. And so yeah, there's a little bit there, just tear it away. There. Right, so that side is nearly dry. And they're all still quite wet. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take um I'm just going to help my tray along a bit. I am going to do the inside of it now in a second. I'm going to take my little heat gun and I'm just going to gently heat this up on the lower setting. Um, it has the water, so all you want to do is just make it um, just make it dry. I don't want it to go completely dry, so I'm going to put Mod Podge on top, and that will keep it from going anywhere. And it'll start wrinkling up as well. And um, of course, I just added water and added any glue as of yet. So I'm while I'm doing this, I'm going to flip it over to the lovely Angie, and she's probably going to say, "I'm still doing the same thing." I don't care. I want to see what you're doing, Angie. You're a bit nosy, aren't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it should be flipped on to you now, Miss Angie Casey. All right, Mrs. Garland. Mrs. Right, this is not looking right. I don't know what I've done. What do you mean it's not looking right? Thank well, you, Carla, by the way. I don't know if I've cut the hole out right. Soon find out, won't we? Thank you, Carla, for your lovely comment, my darling. God, I didn't realise how tedious this is going to be. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Like crafting on you with like your friends, and it? it's nice. Right. Oh, those just watching me, I'm just going to get my Mod Podge and I'm going to cook my napkin in my Mod Podge now. So we'll, Are you? 
Yes, we all on. We are indeed. Okay. So what time is everybody watching us? What time is it where you all watching? Um, Hi Angie, didn't realize you were on here. Yes, Maddie, and she joins me. Um Mom, oh, yeah. Thank you. yeah. Um, yeah, this is the lovely Angie Paisley. Um, she joins me most Friday nights on the live. I'm a special guest. She's a special she's a pest now. No, special guest, yeah. Um, she joins me every Friday night, and we usually go live about 9 p.m. UK time. So, um, just for you guys to know. And then on Angie's channel, she's made a playlist, and on her channel, you'll find all the lives we've all done together. Hi, Jorinda, my darling. Hi, Dorinda. So, um, and what time? Yeah. What time is it here? It's twelve. It's ten, nearly quarter to ten. Eleven. What time is it? Where are you all watching from? Or where are you all watching from? I'm going to read the comments out while Angie crafts, while you all watch Angie craft. But if you've just been watching me, I'm just putting a coat of Mod Podge on my tray. Nearly there, one bit left. I will, I'm going to put paper on the bottom, but I'm not putting this expensive paper on it. Well, it's not expensive, it's just nice. She doesn't want to use it, that's what it is. Look, ladies and gentlemen, oh, I think it's only ladies. This is all I've got left. Oh, <laughs> this is it. I've got a piece that is. What does that say? Ten by twelve. Just well, just under twelve. That's it. That's my that's oh. the end of my paper. Never mind. I got I got lots of other ones. Oh, thank you, Dorinda. Hello to all you beautiful and talented yeah. ladies. Nice, so nice to see you all. Oh, thank you, Dorinda, my darling. Notice how I'm reading the comments, and then when Angie sees a cough, cough yeah, um, our comment, she goes, "Oh yes." She's only read it to me. Yeah, well, you're the expert. I'm not very good at uh, it. Yeah, I'll get the hang of it. Sorry. Linda said. I was thinking. I was thinking. What's she saying? Thank you to Dorinda. I need to what? I iron your wall. Oh, hang on. They go to copy it. Yeah, you're not having copied it, have you, Ange? It's illegal to to copy it. Yeah, no, one copy day. No. No, this is the real McCoy. She was saying, Carla, about how it's um Is it illegal to copy it? Yes, it is. It's copyrighted, isn't it? Mm. I I have got um stuff that I've bought, like digital kits. It's not illegal to download them as many times as you want yeah but you can download them you can't share them oh no definitely not but, um yes yeah i've got a few kits now digital kits which is really nice papers actually um yes, got I... some from Artie Mays. Right, she I'm gonna, you can hear my heat gun again because i'm drying my mod pot um well, thank you, Maddie. We've got noise cancelling on the thing. Uh, we won't be able to hear it. Well, we go for a bit and then it goes quiet. This is the bit where I, I've got to be careful. I don't cut my fingers off. to do that bit mark it there 
Yeah, we bought these trays in country baskets. They weren't very dear, were they? Yeah. yeah, when did we buy them? Huh? When did we buy them? Can you remember when we bought them? When we come, when you come down last time. It was about uh, two or three weeks ago. And yeah. we were stood in country baskets and we went, what should we, Angie said, what should we get? Did you want to lie? And I said, oh, I don't know. And then we both picked up the tray. At the same time, yeah. <laughs> there you go. At the same time, we both picked up the tray, didn't we? Oh, and how about this? That's mad. Yeah. Well, I think it's something that could make a quite quite a nice gift for someone as well, because yeah. it's functional as well, isn't it? It's yeah. practical, functional. Right, okay. If my friend from the post office is watching... Hi, I've forgotten your name. I'm a great friend, aren't I? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> in the office, went, oh, I've been on your channel, she said. I said, oh, we're doing a live tonight. So I gave her the name. So if you're there, say hi. Oh, hi from Angie's post office. <laughs> oh, God. You're going to kill me on Monday. kill you on Monday. Happy. She said she's too shy to say hello. Oh, bless. She's definitely going to kill you now you've said that. I said it to her. We're all friends. So, so what time is it with you all? So I didn't have to keep it going, Angie. Don't be too sad. It doesn't cost. It doesn't. Doesn't cost a lot to ink to print them. No, it doesn't, Dee Dee. I um I got asked about this the other day about um printing. Um. I pay for my printer, my ink, every month. Um, I think I pay about two, three pound, and that's 50 pages. So it doesn't cost a lot when you get digital kits to print them. No, it doesn't. And no, 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 not at all. And you've, the thing is, you've always got them images as well. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Um, I'm at, Jillian said, you'll find that paper somewhere, Angie. Don't be too sad, LOL. Maddie says, Mrs. G, do you have an office deck or kill off or somewhere similar business near you? Sometimes it costs like 10 cents per colour per page. Does it? See, we if we haven't got a printer, we've got the um alternative of printing in the library, our local library. Yeah, but it's how much is it a copy? Uh it's cent it's fifty pence black and white and seventy-five pence in colour. What for page? Say again. What for a page? Yeah, for a page. Oh, that's dear, isn't it? I know. Right, mine is sort of. Do you of, think I should mod podge this, ladies? Well, I would as well. I would because if you're using it, then the paper might come off. Okay. And it'll give you a little bit of shine as well. Can I flick it back over to me, Ange? Yes, of course you can. Da, 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 da. Don't look at the bottom. I haven't done the bottom. It's an absolutely stunning tray. Stunning, Ange. Oh, look at that. Absolutely stunning. A new printer. Thinking of getting an eco tank printer. Yeah, you could do. I got Epsom, but I want it. I want an inkjet one. I've only got the one that the you know the paper goes through like that. Whatever it is. What's that called? Oh, um, I know you're on about. I did have an inkjet printer. The inkjet printer is really nice to use, actually. Have you got an inkjet? I used to have an inkjet printer. What have you got now? Um, it's one of those it, thingy about printers. What? Oh, God. Chris, what printer have we got? I can't even think off the top of my mind. Right. Um, while Chris is sort of... Again, coming back from the planet Z and I answered my question. <laughs> I'm going to cut out these two lips. I'm going to pop this to one side. It is still quite damp on the sides because I've just used more podge. So again, because I want the two lips, um, effect, I, two lips is one of my favourite cut um, flowers in the world. Is it? Um, yeah. I oh, had my daughter's favourite flower too. I had two lips in my uh, in my bouquet of flowers absolutely stunning 
So all I'm doing is I am making sort of a wavy line all the way around using a bed of water. Oh, our, um, Maddie recommends a laser jet. That's it. That's my 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 I might have. Thank you, Mrs. She said gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, bless her. That's Chris, me. What printer have I got? Uh, so yeah. What type of printer? Yeah, what type? Is it an ink jet? Oh, um, it's an oh god, he's pretty useless. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh he, he thinks he's an ink jet. He thinks. Oh, I need a laser printer, do I? I'll tell my husband. He said, What do you want for Christmas? I said, Can I have craft stuff? He went, Oh, I suppose. Yeah. All right, then. Right, I'm just, I want to keep that um, on this napkin. There's like a, a scalloped edge, and I want to keep that scalloped edge as well as keeping those tulips. So, all I'm going to do with this, I'm going to pop it. I want to pop, oh, I want to see if I can, I can't, I can't, no, I can't without tearing it and I won't be able to do it. What are you trying to do? Well, I was trying to take off that little bit, it doesn't matter now. I'll just keep it as is. That made. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just using my water as I've done with the outer edges to put this in. And with the inside of this, I'm definitely going to pod um, the inside of the tray because it's going to be used, like Angie said, it's practical. So I am going to be using it to put things in. Um, so it's gonna, definitely going to be used. So does anybody know, like every week I just say um, what challenges are going on on YouTube. Does anybody know for any challenges on YouTube at the moment? I do know for one. Um, and that one is from the Tambera Lillian Crafts. Is she doing one, is she? Yeah, she's doing one. She's doing a birthday challenge. I, um, she messaged me in the week and she said, what? She's not getting much response. Oh. Um, she's a bit sad about it and I feel... A bit sad for it, so I'm definitely going to be joining in that one. Um, and I think she did summarize it down, but I am yet to watch her video. Like I said, I'm going to YouTube binge on the weekend. Yeah, but hasn't she not long had one? Um, she said that all she wants is a birthday card. She is um, a birthday challenge, she, she hasn't got much response. So please, ladies, if you can pop on over to Tammy's challenge, she's called Tambera Lillian Crafts. Um, she makes beautiful things. And um, I can't remember what she said the prize is now because, like I say, like I say to you all, I enter these challenges and then I actually don't even take any notice of the prize because if I'm going to make for a challenge, then I want to make it because I love to, not because of the prize. Um, but there is a prize, and um, all you got to do, all she wants, is a birthday card. So I, I can do that. that. I can do a birthday card. That's not a problem. Yeah. Or she wants a birthday card. So I think um, I know of at the moment. I so think I Jane Marge is doing one. She's doing a yeah. Victorian or Edwardian paper doll or something like that. Right. She, I know she's doing it. I don't know if it's finished yet, but I'm trying to think who else is doing a challenge. Or oh, giveaways. Does anybody know for a giveaway? Um for those that are wondering, yes, I am still going to be wearing my bracelets. There's going to be, I'm actually going to be wearing one pretty soon. So if you entered in my challenge and you made me um, something to wear on my hand or my wrist or my fingers, that will be coming up soon because um, I'm going to be definitely doing one out coming soon. So if you've made me one, Keep watching because you never know it might be yours and you've got to be in the live chat in order for to have what I've ever made what I made in the last live um and that's all the challenges I know for really I don't know for anymore um 
We've got a challenge coming up on the group soon, haven't we, Miss Ange? Yes, we are. Are we? It hasn't been released yet. Um, all I can say is what I've said to the group is that Angie, it's Angie's challenge, and she's actually doing one on the group. So if you are in our group or you'd like to join, our group's called Country Creational Swaps. And somebody once said to me the other day, do I have to be involved in the monthly swaps in order to join? No, you don't. Okay. Uh, so, no, you don't. And some of our members that are join, join because they like watching the lives. Some of them like to join because of the um, interaction that there is on the group. Some like to join to see what inspiration they can get from. Oh. Okay. So lots of different reasons why people join up so mrs rian said she thinks it's an a ice ic card yeah it's either a nice the prize is something handmade from her yeah it, it yeah it is and um, we really it is um what tammy said was it was either an ic t i a t c card or an ic i can't remember or I don't know they are or a birthday card. She would like me to make a birthday card for her. She said, I don't mind either. She, but she did say she's not getting much response. So I said I would give her a huge shout out. Tanya Mazalin, if you're watching, um, you definitely I'll definitely be entering in your challenge, my darling. Not because you're not getting much response, because I want to. And because I think you're such a talented crafter, I want to be able to join in and um yeah. So Maddie said that it's more expensive up front for a laser jet, but it'll cost less in the long run, plus the ink is permanent. It will not run when wet. Well, that's good to know. So what was it? Oh, yeah, that um, the challenge coming up on the group, on our group, um, it's Angie's turn to do a challenge. I'm so excited. What was that? On the group, it's your turn to do a challenge on our group. Oh, yeah. So I haven't yeah. released yet what we're doing, but if you would like to be involved in our group, the link is in the description bar below. Um, and if you're, um, if you want to see what um, challenge there is coming up, go and pop on over to our group. And um, you, don't to, you don't have to do the challenge. I mean, a lot of people go on just for inspiration, don't they? Because they put all their projects up and that. Um, what did I say about Carla? Car said two things. First off, I said about Tammy's challenge. Um, Tammy's challenge is all about making, um, she's not having much response for her birthday. And I think if somebody's doing a challenge or a giveaway, I think it's um, only fair that even if you can't enter, just to share it about so other people can. Um, but she's either looking, she said to me, it was either an ICT card, or I think I'm pronouncing that right, or a birthday card and um, there is a prize she's going to do a handmade prize as well if you win so that's tammy and her channel name is tambara lillian crafts um so go and pop on over and it ends the end of november but if you message her and tell her that you're interested in doing her challenge she'll know that it's on her way and um, so that was the first thing i said and then the next thing i said was about um, a challenge coming up on our group and the challenge is um, Angie's challenge. I haven't actually said on our group what the challenge is all about, but I have. Um, but I, it's Angie's turn to do the challenge. So that's coming up really soon because um, our challenge that we've just had is ending. I think it's next Sunday. Yeah, and also doing the prize as well. So. Yeah. So there's there is a prize. So if you'd like to join in, you can. Um, or if you can't join in, don't think that you've got to enter our group um, and you've got to enter the monthly swap if you haven't. Because some ladies just enter our group because they like um, the interactions. Others enter our group because they like um, what's going on and what inspiration they can get from it as well. So, yes, that's what's coming up on our group really soon, actually. Um, so, yeah, I think that's all I said. Is there something else I said, said Ange? I, don't oh, know. I can't even remember. We're on you, by the way. I flicked it over to you while I was talking. What? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Ange. 
She's a nightmare, isn't she? Oh, well. A mod podged it. Yeah? Yeah, I'm drying it now. That's what I'm doing now. Mod podging it. There we are. So now I'm going to put some pearls on it. I don't know where I'm going to put them yet. I'm not, I'm, I'm not decided. I don't want to put too much on and spoil it but i still want to put some stuff on it if that makes sense yeah it makes a change i don't normally make a lot of sense right let's get some pearls now we've got cream ones got oh, i don't want pink We've got these jumbo pearls. It is more expensive up front, but we'll cut it. I think it is uh, an ITC car, Tammy wants, and it's the girl who comes in from the yeah. It's either ITC or ITC or birthday card. I've never made an ITC card. Um, I don't know why I've never made one, I just never have. Oh, well, Carla said her, her neighbour stopped by for help to open a jar of olives. Our neighbour stopped by for help to open a jar of olives. Oh, bless. Did he drop them off to me by any chance, Carla? I love I olives. Yeah. Right, well, let's have a look. See what you think. Can I put them along the top? That's the end. That's the end there. Right, you've a back bead. What was the other one you were thinking? This one. The jumbo beads. Right, put the jumbo beads on top so we can see. I like the jumbo beads, but I'm using a single bead. Oh no, the single yeah, bead. Use the single bead. Yeah. What do, you what do you reckon, ladies? Jumbo ones or let me cut one off so you can see it. I'll go. I'll go with um, the majority because I'm and decisive. Uh, yeah. I think either will look nice, so I, I'll let someone else choose. How's that? Right, there's, a, there's a, a row of those. Oops. Like that. Or a row of the little ones. Like so. I don't know. What what is everybody saying, Ange? I'm not saying anything. So a is the what what is a what's option a would you say is the little beads yeah and option b is the huge beads i quite like the little ones actually right so option a is the little beads and option b is the big beads actually I quite i like the small pearls little ones oh you thank you and me right let's get rid of them little ones yeah Right then, let's put these on. Is my glue gone? I'll get my burn myself. Put that in the corner. So I'm going to put these on all around the edge now. And then I'm not sure what else I'm going to do. It's very shabby. I know you buy your beads on a roll, don't you, Ange? Yeah. These, this roll is um is about ten pounds. This one, but I get it off eBay. Yeah. Yeah. But it lasts. It lasts a long time. Right. 
I'm not sure what size they are. I think they're six millimeter or something, something like that. Oh, look at that. It goes in there perfect. So what are you doing, Colette? I am sticking. I'm at the same stage. I'm sticking beads around my edge of my tray. How are you? Yeah, I've dried my Mod Podge for the inside of the tray. Oh, I'm, I'm going to show everybody the beads now. But I've just yeah, everybody said they like the little ones. So thank you very much for your input. Because uh, I find Angie sometimes she second guesses herself when she when I craft with her because we craft every night together, don't we, Angie? Yeah. I craft every night together. I find like second guesses herself. Sure. Uh, I won't use that. No, I will. I will use it. No. Uh, yeah, I will use it. <laughs> and it makes me giggle. It does make me giggle for the right reasons. Yeah. So what have you? Um, oh, I get. Oh, I've got some projects to show everyone. Oh, have you? Oh, I have. I'm busy. I'm gonna stick these beads on and then I'll show everybody what I've been up to. Have you been up to anything that you've crafted that you can share on YouTube, Ange? I made some. Um, what are they call point setters? Point setters, yeah. What seller are they off? Um, I don't know. I just put in. What it was, was I bought a roll last year, and obviously they got down to none. So I went back on my eBay account and then went to the where I bought them, because you obviously you've got a history of everything you buy. And it said, um, obviously it didn't sell them anymore, but buy one similar. All right, yeah. On to that, but I can find out and let you know who I bought them off of. Would I have to put a... What, what would I do? Would I put a link in there or something? Um, if you find out, I'll put the link in the description bar. Okay. Yeah. Oh, look. That one didn't quite go. Um. Yeah, I made some of them poinsettia. Yeah, that's what they're called. Yeah. Oh, we've got sparkly bits on the edges. Angie, you oh, made those. Oh, look at them, Angie. How cute are they? Yeah, I got, yeah, Christmas trees. Where are they? Disney Christmas trees. And there's the, the Christmas trees. I put this on, but I said I'm going to take it off and put some um, Demonte chain or pearl on them because I'm not, I don't really like the ribbon. No. No, not really. I remember you saying last night. Oh, Mrs. G's been doing pocket letters. Oh, wow. And these are the pearl ones, Christmas trees. I did um, I, a little, I showed you how I made them on one of my, on my latest video. Thanks, Angie. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I'll sort that out. Let me just write it down because you know what my brain's like. Um, what, am I, what, what am I writing down? Were you writing down where you got this? where you get your beads from where did i get my pearls from pearls and then when you find out i'll put them in the description bar how does that sound and the link to um okay okay i'll do that when we finish yeah these are really pretty that they're just um i got the tim Oates, the tattered point poinsettia or whatever it is and i just cut out some glittered paper stuff and plain paper yeah so they're really nice but obviously you've got to have the dye haven't you well um, you haven't got to have the dye but... no i think you can i'm not sure mine because i haven't looked but i'm sure you can find a pattern for insert is like a template pattern like a paper one on pinterest yeah because i'm going to be i obviously i want to make some um Christmas cards, so I just thought, well, oh, just to make some embellishments up. Right, where's the scissors? I need Tim Holtz. Bit of name drop in there, Tim Holtz. You've been cheating on me again. With him. Yeah, and I've been cheating on you because oh, I bought another um 
and distress oxide as well. Hang on, I'll get it and show you. Oops. Da, da, da. I can't wait to use this one. Oh, well, I'd, I'd love to see. <laughs> wow, gorgeous, Angie. All oh, right, okay, wild honey. No, tea dye. Oh, tea dye. Gold. But I haven't used it yet. Oh, God, blame me. Yeah, as you can see, it's, I only got it today. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to using that. Wow, they're gorgeous, Angie. Thank you, Gillian. So, Mrs. G's been doing pocket letters. Pocket letters, wow. pocket letters. Oh, we make them before, haven't we? Pocket letters? No, not pocket letters. Pocket letters are like, you get them in, um, oh, we haven't made pocket letters. Are we not? Perhaps no. so much. Right. What are they? They're, like, they're in like a poly pocket and they divide it into like, you can have them divided into 12. I think that's sort of what, what pocket letters are. And you then, you decorate each sort of section up then. You can make them from scratch. Oh. What are they for? What are the, what is the purpose of them? Just. Oh, here she goes. Got to have a purpose for everything. <laughs> uh, sorry, what, what do you put in them? Well, you would put like um, tags and that kind of thing. Oh, right, okay. Pictures, ephemera. You could put like little never love notes if you wanted to put love notes in there. Okay. I'm going to make one for Tim. Just random love notes. It doesn't matter who it's to. Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. Of course. Of course. Right, are we gonna have a look at you what you're doing now? Yeah, I'm just I'm sticking beads on but oh, so am I. I I want I want I wanna just stick this last section on there. I'm gonna All show right. you. I might have to stick this down again because it's oh no, I can see where it's got right, dry. I'm so excited. Oh, nine compartments is a sort of pen pal thing. Yeah. As Traveling Seasons has a really great videos on her style of pockets for pocket letters. Oh, I'll have to have a look at that. Right. I've not seen that. I'll have to have a look. That's probably something we can make. Are we on mute now? I think so. Yes, we are. So what I've done is I've um, stuck those thin beads around. And you gave me the inspiration for that one when she was doing hers. And I've stuck it at the bottom of the long end. And then I had like a pearl necklace that I just stuck all the way around. Very nice, Claire. Very pretty. Right, and I've more podged inside as well. So I, that's my tray. I haven't finished yet. I'm going to put some um, other bits and pieces on. I want to show you what I've done. So first off, I made a Christmas bauble. This took three hours, two hours. I think to make the one with three balls. Yeah, this the reason it took me so long is because I made them on little baubles. If I had done it on big baubles, then it perhaps wouldn't have taken me that long. Um, so I made some of them, and um, what you do, you gesso the bauble, you use your rings, and you also gesso the lace going onto the bauble, and then you ink it all up. So it, took it, it did take me out. I think it's because it was all on little baubles. So made them. Then I made my cards. I think I made these last week because I had a new pad, which I'll get out now in a second. And it's called and it's graphic 45. Graphic 45. So that was the first one I made. And then I also done the inside because I really wanted something beautiful inside as well. And I cornered the edges on. on the I just sent you a picture of me if you wanted something beautiful inside. <laughs> Very, thank you, Rian. Thank you, Julian. So I did that one and I fussy cut the images out and then the inside of that one as well. So those were my two cards. I'm going to move my tray to one side of the next. I want to show you other bits and pieces I've made thinking. Then, um, so that was that pad was called. 
the 12 days of Christmas, my true love gave to me. That's what it's actually called. Right? So, in a pear tree. ignore all these because I've been cutting through them. I thought he was going to say ignore her now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll put it on mute. <laughs> all right. And then not before. I know, and I couldn't get it back. So, this was the. Um, paper pad and with each section this is what I want to say to you with each paper that you see on the front you get the backing paper on the back so that's the backing paper for that one for the actual rhyme I think there's two of each in the in the book so there's that one and then the backing paper for that one is this one and then you have that one with all the um what do you call them I, they're not ribbons but they're like ribbons but in paper front front you're back to front right? am i back to front are you back to front oh my god i am too what's that mean that means this i should be able to see me now well, i can see you anyway Right, so let me see if you can. There we are. You should be able to see the writing now. So I had on the mirror. I'll, I'll tell you after I come off. All right. Because it was on the mirror. Right, so it's uh, 12 Days of Christmas. The, the backing it to that one is this one with the trees. And this one I've been actually cutting into as you can see and that's that's the backing paper for that one and that's got like all different kind of writing <laughs> uh if ever i'm like that back to front or the ridge is not quite right let me know i don't mind you letting me know some some crafters really don't like it when you tell them but I don't mind. I'd rather you tell me that it's the writing's back to front or something, and then you can't read something and me correct it, then it me babble on and you can't see anything I'm doing. <laughs> so there's the backing paper to this one. So you've got the green. Beautiful. And then you get the got I think you've seen the gold. If you get that one. And then that's the backing paper to that one. It's like um a top top. Tartan, what? Tartan. Tartan, yeah. That. <laughs> then you get the pairs, and that's the backing paper to that one, the old-fashioned writing. Then the blue, that's the backing paper to that one. And then you get, like, little tags. So these are the tags, and they're all different. I think they're all different. No, they're, yeah, they're the same. And then on the back, you get some more. So you get those minus the one and they're different on the back so that is my little pad and that pad i went on to i came across it by accident what it was i went on to ebay and i typed in i always look for um uh christmas papers that are on bid on ebay always and i had this paper pad for six pound and that was including delivery because I had it on bid and nobody else was watching it. So I was like, thank you very much. I have that one. <laughs> and then when I went up to Angie's, I um Angie gave me some stamps. Let me see if I can find them. What, what did I give you? She gave me some stamps. So while I, I nabbed them. Oh, I didn't I didn't give them to her. They were in CD cases, which I thought was such a brilliant idea, right? They're in CD cases. So anyway, 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 I was sorting out my cupboard today, and I saw in the yeah, in the CD cases. What a brilliant idea that is. Yeah, and I was sorting out my uh, cupboard today, and Chris was throwing his games out now. I said, don't throw the cases out. I want to keep the cases. And he went, why do you want to keep the cases for? I went, because I want to keep my stamps in it. So I haven't got CDs because, of course, everything's on, like, iPods or, like, um, you know, like, apps these days. So you don't really get CDs anymore. So instead, I nabbed his game, his 
case for his games. He's checked the games out because he doesn't use the console anymore. Um, and they don't work. They're all scratched, if he says. And the games that he didn't want, he's going to take them to charity. Anyways, besides the point. So I've stamped all the um, stamps on a piece of paper on the outside of the case. So I know that everything in this case is all like uh, wording. So I can go, oh, right, that's in that case. And that's how I'm going to store my um, stamps from now on. So that one was the similar one. So those are the stamps. And then, as you can see, it's just this was in a DS case. See? So I'm going to do that to all of them. Such a clever idea, isn't it? That was, really, that was a brilliant idea, I must admit. And what else have I been making that I can show? You could show that thing you were making for me. Show them my parachute. <laughs> parachute. She desperately for me to see that. Um, um, I can't show anything else. I'm getting because I can't show anything else that I've been making. Is there anything else I've been doing this week? All right, you've showed enough. Uh showed enough look at her uh oh i know what I, i'm showing oh here we go oh i know these these are my little um these are done on a little this is done on vellum using the stamp again and embossing powder um and you stamp stamp your st stamp on vellum you put the embossing powder on and then you heat it up and you're left with a real delicate um, die. And you can cut this in half and tuck it between flowers or whatever you want to do. And I didn't, I could wish I could say this was my idea, but it wasn't. I saw this uh, idea on Pinterest. And as you will know, on Pinterest, you see pictures. You don't see, very rarely come across a video. And um, I thought, oh, I wonder how they did that. And I was sat there one day and I was playing around. I went, like, does it really work? Because some things that you see and you try and you think, that didn't really work. Are they they messing me around. <laughs> so I tried that and I made some really cool ones. And you can come up with really nice images as well using the embossing powder and vellum. So that was one thing that I've done. And then the other last thing I want to try and uh, show you is this. This is my... Let me move these cards out the way of paint. This is my little pin book. P pin book? Stick? No, not pin book. What are you trying to say? Pin cushion. And I was say, yeah, show me a robin. My little robin. And this was done um, in a video. And I'm actually, I've done half of this on our group. So if you want to check out the other half and how I put it together, that'll be on this Sunday. But it's a little robin and it does sit flat. Um, he's got some rice and some stuffing in him. So I made him through the week as well. So, yes, I have been busy in our world of crafting. Um, so, yeah, that's what I've made this week. And I have made other things, but like I say, I can't show you the rest because she'll call me if I show you now. So, yeah, that's what I've made. Well, you so, don't want to join my parachute. I can't, uh, yeah, well, it's so big, you see, Ange, right? For me to show them your parachute, I would have to, like, undo it all, and it would just... Yeah, that's true. So big. <laughs> right, to finish this little tray off, I'm going to get some beads. Um, I'm going to take my tray that way, and I'm going to put some feet on it. Um, oh, and I have all, 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 I know what I've done. Well, here we go. Some else. Then after Miss Ange gave me the idea, um, so much inspiration. I used my lace that I had picked up from the, the market when me and my mum went a couple of weekends ago. Lace from Shilpa, and then I've been using flowers that you ladies have been making me. So Linda made me this flower. And I know in a couple of um, a couple of months time, I know I'm not going to be able to remember all this. But um, Linda made me this flower. I can't remember who made me this one. What one? For love of money. I can't remember. What are you, Mrs. D? Wants to know what you're going to put in your tray. Oh, 
I, I'll, I'll show you now. <laughs> I'll show you, Ray, I promise. And then I used this one, and Miss Angie made me that flower. So the little jars they are. And from what flower did I make? Oh, that one, yeah. I made you made me that one, but I can't remember who made me this one. Oh, I don't know. Made you that red one. Right. Well, my favorite I am going to be putting. Um. I think I'm going to be using my tray for when I'm in the living room because I craft a lot in front of the TV. Um, I'm trying to find some feet. Come on, Claire, find some feet. Who's some of those ones I sent you, those pearl ones? Where are they? Those flat, you know, they're flat with balls on the, oh, not balls, you know what I mean. These, these. These. Hang on, you have to wait for the lag to catch up. Yeah, I think you want to know a parachute. She's intrigued. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. No, actually, yeah. She was she was crafting last night and she had the machine going and it was going for about half an hour and she said, I can't show you what I'm making you. You, I can't show you what I'm making you because it's for you. So I said, Blimey, all that sewing. Well, you're making me a parachute yeah i will i will do a video on what i've made like i do every year but i can't she'd kill me if i chose you now no i don't want to see it she would absolutely see parachute, you. yeah and besides some of what i made was for my uh christmas swap as well yeah well so i don't really want to sponsor it but i promise you there will be a video of what i've made um you could be sure of that yeah I will do a video, I promise. He always does a video, don't you, darling? Yeah, of what I've made, especially after Christmas, because I know that after Christmas I don't do any type of craft and I'm so knackered out with everything goes on. And it does take it out of me that I don't do I don't come in yet after Christmas. So any videos like that I can just put up after Christmas and know that you guys can still see what I've made. So I've just put some feet on the end of my tray. And I think that I would call my trade done. I don't think I'm going to add anything more to it. Um, because I think if I did, it might spoil it. So I'm going to use my tray um, for when I'm in the living room. And I'm going to um, start using it for when I crochet in. And I can put my little bits and pieces in. But I love how it's turned out absolutely love i've just put little some beads on that angie gave me they're flat ones um for the feet to just raise it up off the table and i love this the effect that the, the black and the chalk has given me the chalk paint's given me it's absolutely stunning i'm so in love with it so that's my tray done let me see what angie's up to because now i've showed you all Oh, what I've been doing. Let me see. Those flowers on the lids are beautiful. Yes, Gillian. Um, it's a good I idea, isn't it? Made me the under made me the white one was Angie's, and the other top one was Linda made me. So Linda, my darling, if you're watching, thank you so much. But I'm going to be using all everybody's flowers that everybody made me because I know some yeah. of you set me flowers for my challenge, so they are going to be used on my lids. Uh, anyway, sure. what to do with them i don't i wouldn't want to put work that's been sent to me i would not want to put on some some on my work and send it I'm to someone else. No. i just thought they're beautiful flowers so yeah. why not put them on top of your jars and enjoy them yeah of oh, definite and that inspiration came from the miss angie you see yeah, i do have some good ideas don't i just just a little bit a smidgen just a little bit. Right, let's see what she's up to. Let's see if she's finished her tray. Uh, I'm not sure if I finished my tray yet. This is mine if you haven't. We'll still watch your craft. I'm undecided. Like you say, um, please keep watching, ladies, because um I will be wearing one of your wristlets coming up soon. That's gonna be coming up soon, so please keep watching. Because you never know, it might be your slut or pink glove in Angie's case. Rubber glove. Rubber glove. 
Well, that would come in handy if you're doing any dyeing or anything, I suppose. Yeah. I'm not sure about this. I don't know whether to put this on or not. What do you think? Of that? Let's do the tray, Anne. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, because we can see the top, and the top's absolutely stunning. Love that so much. I don't know whether to put some product on there, and all. I wouldn't know whether to put the lace on because you cover the paper. Yeah, I might put some pearls around the edge there. Yeah. Put them on the bottom there. Yeah. Right, so lace is out the window then. I, I wouldn't because you might cover the hard work with the paper. That's only my put some, um, some of this, what what would you call that, knotty trim? I put that oh, on the inside. Is that a Chinese braid? It's, no, it's like little roses. Is i got it all, oh, all different colours. So I put that on the inside and I think I'm going to put some... Around the, around the edge there. Looks like Chinese braid to me. Oh, okay. Does it? Is it Chinese braid? No, it's it's, it's like little, little it's little roses on a roll. Oh, well, that spool you've just had out. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh. It's pretty anyway, whatever Thank it is. You. So what I'm going to do is just put some pearls around the edge and I'm going to call it done. My little tray is going to be for my projects. So when I'm doing a project, I'm going to put all the stuff in here and it's all in one place then. Um, so that I can just pick my little tray up. Oh, I love my little tray. I still got to do the bottom, mind. Well, do the bottom then. We're in no rush. You like watching crap. I mean, um, comments at you when you're crafting. I'm only sticking some paper on it. Actually, I've got some other paper, are the same pack, so I'll put one of those. Yeah. Not off. Uh -huh. Right, so uh, while Angie's craft, while we're watching Angie craft, I just want to say um, before, because some weekends I generally forget. Um, I just want to say thank you to everybody that watches us week in, week out. Honestly, now it means that the world. Oh, yeah, it's so nice. Because, um, without your support and your beautiful comments, um, I don't think that you know, me and Miss, both of us would have the confidence to do what we do. And that's thanks to you guys. So just you are. You are nice on your own. You're really good at them. I just hide it well, Ange. I'm going to use this one. Both trays are beautiful. Thank you, Carla. Well, thank you, Carla. So, have you, any of you ladies, put up a video? We need something to watch on the weekend. Any yeah. Because I'm going to literally, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to literally binge watch YouTube tomorrow. So, if any of you ladies put up a new video, because sometimes it doesn't come up on new, my news feed. Um, so, I don't know whether you guys have put up a new video. Is that, it doesn't come I did that the other day, Colette, and it's a good idea, if you haven't seen someone for a while, to actually go onto their channel and see if the bell is um, pressed. Because I found that one of the ladies, when I went on to to try and find the link for um to put in my video yeah and um the bell wasn't pressed and i <clears throat> when i subscribe to someone's channel i always always press the bell so i don't understand that oh wow very strange Durinda says you're right carla they are beautiful oh thank you Durinda. maddie says both are so talented oh thank you maddie oh, oh i wouldn't go as far as say that oh you are talented Ange. So anybody put up a new video, I'll definitely have a look on. Um, yeah, I have. Definitely. I'll, 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 yes, I'm going to watch yours. No, there's no shadow of a doubt. I have two project shares I plan to put up. Carla, I'll be keeping my eye out, definitely. They go up this weekend. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Anybody got any that they're putting up? Give us a Well, don't have to give us a shout. Hopefully the bells. My my bells don't work. So sometimes everybody says, oh, did you see that video? And I generally don't see it because it doesn't come up from my news feed. I sometimes have to go on individual project, individual channels um, to see what you guys have been up to because it just doesn't come up. 
You better check your bells are all ticked then. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's what I'm going to do. Thank you, Daddy. I've got a short one about um, break break a page journal prompts. Right, okay, Maddie. Right, break a page journal prompts. I'm going to have to go over there. Are they? I'm going to have to go over there. Me don't know, but it sounds intriguing. Yeah, because at the moment I am, I'm, I'm looking at maybe doing a junk journal. I'm, in, I'm, I'm very interested in it. Funny how you go off on different tangents, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to distress it in kit. Look at that. I'm going to keep my eye out. Thank you. I like it when we do the both, we both do the same project because it's. They come out totally different, don't they? Yeah, every time. We've done a couple now together, haven't we? Yeah. That have been a totally different. Yeah, we did the donut, didn't we? We did the what? The donut. Oh, yeah, the ring. Put the flowers on. Got in a right state with that, I tell you, in the beginning, making that ring. We did. And let's see your tray, Ange. Pardon? Said, let's, let's see your tray. This I can't at the moment because I'm doing a bit of painting. Are you doing underneath? Yeah. Oh, Ange. What? This paper's stunning. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Well, I think I might do that embossing thing. What now? Yeah. Yeah, go on then. That's a good idea. Um, a bit different, isn't it? To show you what I mean. Well, I'm going to stick this on and then I'm going to put some pearls around the handle and I'm going to put some more glue on this because it's coming off. Uh, you think I should use packing glue? What? To yeah. Stick this paper on. But the tray goes in slightly, doesn't it, on the back? Yeah, so it's only going to catch on the edge. Yeah, unless you do it on the inside. Oh. No? Do you know what? If I had brains, I'd be dangerous. That's a good idea. Uh, don't worry. I'll put it on the right side, and then if it, it, it don't work, I'll um, take it off again and go back to the drawing board. Right, I'm going to do my um, things for my... Uh, I did look for some vellum, but I couldn't find any when I went out. So I'll, I'll put it on my list if we can. Right. Uh, me my stuff. In block. Right. I'm going to flip it over to me, Anne. All right. Okay, so I have got some vellum. Um, I usually buy my vellum in pack 10, there's 10 sheets in one pack, and it's 120 GS GSM. Where do you get that from? The range of work, sometimes a work seller as well. So I'm going to use one of these stamps in here. And uh, let's use, I'm going to use the very real big one, I think. Oh, on that one. Yeah, let's use the big one first. So I'm doing that stamp there okay so um you need some oh you need to be some on right so i'm using white ink so you need some ink that's um transparent that it isn't going to show because the idea is the ink sticks to the um, embossing powder and um, you can use in 
and the embossing ink pad now i haven't got the embossing ink pads so this is why i'm using the white but the white works just as well so ink your image up pretty well and there's a little technique i'm going to show you how to put the embossing folder embossing powder on stamp on your image So I get that. Take your vellum and your image, and I'm going to do let's do white to begin with. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to just sprinkle it on. Tap the edge in. Flat to one side. And then I'm going to use my heat embossing tool wherever I've just put it. This chili just has to go all this. And you heat up the flour. And you'll have sort of a delicate flour. Oh, hello, Tommy. How are oh, you doing? Darling, we've been talking about you. Yours must have been burning. All good. I promise it's all good. So, you're left with that. Now, while that sort of sits, I always like to leave mine sit. It doesn't sort of slide all the way on the edge. There. I would like to leave mine to sit while I do the next one. So I'm going to put that to one side. And let's do another one. Um, sitting leaves. But they're all, always handy to have in your flowers. Let's do that one. Uh, oh, that one. So I am doing bat leaf. And I'm also doing that one there. So ink them up. Ink it up. Stamp it. That's not perfect. Take your embossing powder. And just sprinkle it on at an angle. So you just let it fall down the paper rather than put it all on. All on at once. Just keep off and keep that. And then what you do then, once this is all dry, is you would cut them out and you can add them to almost anything you want to add and they're so delicate to have i'm going to use gold for that one so i'm going to get rid of this um powder that i've already got in on this I'm going to stamp this and I'm going to do this one in gold and, more, and see if I can get a second one out oh, no. One side. And they look lovely when in between cards or flowers or anything like that. Oh, 
right and then I take my scissors Oh, I know what I can show you is a box I've been making. Show this first. And then you would fussy cut the image out. And I will put something behind it so you can see it a lot better. There's that one, and um, with a leaf. Any comments, Ange? Um, hang on. Yeah, quite a few. Oh. Hang on. I got to somebody asking Tammy. Uh, Tammy said, "How are you, honey?" All right, okay, so um, Tammy said you very well, my lovely, thank you, and you. Oh. Uh, Mrs. G said good, thank you, got the builders in, so I'm in chaos, laugh out loud, oh no. Yeah. And Tammy said, oh gosh, burnt builders, oh. Oh, I bet it's a nightmare. I know oh, why. An inch, inch of dust, yuck. Yeah, but the, I know why I forgot to tell everybody. I had the privilege of meeting Mrs. G this week, and wow, what a lovely woman she is! She is so lovely and sweet, and her husband is beautiful too. They are, they are honestly genuine, honest, uh, down to earth, beautiful people. To um, I had the pleasure of meeting, um, and she was so sweet, and her husband um, is so sweet as well. And I was like in awe of the fact I got to meet her. So thank you, Mrs. G, for having me and Chris around for a cup of tea. It was such a pleasure and an honour to meet you. And I've been telling Angie all about you when I came home. Yes, she did. And about how wonderful um, you and your husband are and the fact that when Angie comes down, we'll definitely have to catch up because I wanted to meet I want I want Angie to meet you for sure because you're such a beautiful person inside and out and your husband too. So a big lovely well um a big I just yeah. Is that what you say about me? Well, no, not really. I say you know that Angie from Britain. <laughs> well, she cracks me on everything. She's like the Theosaurus of Britain. Oh my god. And uh yeah. So annoying, isn't it? I'm so annoying. No, Claire, said this way. All right, you oh, I, I, I do my own editing, I tell you. <laughs> Fear saw Sanji's come out. <laughs> but if I'm making something, she'll go, I, I can't see that. I can't see that. Angie's got this thing, right? If she can't see it, then she can't see it. No matter how many times you tell her this is the way, she'll go, No, I still can't see it. I can't see it. I'll go wait down, wait till it's finished. You might be able to see it then. Yeah, and then I can. Right, I don't know whether you'll be able to see them because I've done these in gold emblem as well as I'd hoped. The white ones have. Let's have a look. And they look so like delicate. So you can imagine putting these in the monks of flowers. You could cut them in half and they would look like lace. Have you got, have you got any paper that's not shiny to put them on? I know, I was thinking that. No, not really, not around me. How about this? No. No, all you can see is a plastic. No. Light banks and off it. Oh, then I know, I know what I can do. Wait a second. I know what I can do. I think I got it. I, um... No. Oh, God, how do I do it? Got any black paper? Oh, you are. Wait a second, it'll catch up. No, I haven't got any black paper. Oh, I know, I have got something. There. Right. And I've got some black as well. 
so you might be able to see them on black but the white ones i've cut out is because i use more embossing powder see on these white ones that i did earlier it's because i use more embossing powder on them so you're able to see them a lot more hoping that you'll be able to see that now i use more embossing powder on them and i use more ink so i think that's the key thing there you you can see them a lot more now i've put them on the case yeah that's nice mm. In, in between flowers can you imagine them on cards and in between flowers they just look beautiful oh we should have a wonderful meeting oh definitely Rian. thank you claire i have some paper parchment bet that would work for this too definitely yeah you could try it on paper parchment uh tammy said that's fab i know when to send out a birthday surprise yes tammy i was telling everybody about your um birthday challenge so um I was letting everybody know about joining because I think as a crafter to crafter, I think it's so important that we should support each other. And um, I was letting everybody know that I think they should join your challenge, which I'm going to be joining in it. But I don't know whether mine's going to be a little late, but I'm going to try and get it out on time. Of course, I will. Um, but yeah, it ends. You were saying to me, ends this November, ends the end of November. If you know it's on its way, then you know that it, you know it's on its way. But for definite. I was telling everybody how wonderful crafty you are. Um, and we were saying, Mother, um, as Rian said, it, it's an I ice tea. I really keep, need to get that right. Is it ICT card or ATC card? A cup of tea card. <laughs> or was it a birthday card? I can't remember. But I know you said something about it, but you could send a birthday card. Oh, you're very welcome, Tammy. Honestly, anything I can do to help anybody that goes with videos or anything, I you know, just let me know. And I don't mind um, letting everybody know about your challenge. I really don't. So, Angie, Miss Angie, have you finished your try? Can we have a nice surprise and see your try? Yeah, I've finished. Right, I'm going to present you to everyone so everybody can see your tray. Uh, ITC card. Can we make a birthday card, uh, Tammy? Because I've never made an ITC card and I wouldn't want to make it wrong for you. Oh, give it a go. I do make next birthday cards, I promise. Oh. What? You're, you're going to have to try one. My ITC card. Here's my tray. I'm going to take my card. Yeah, no, I have, I have um, presented you to everyone, so you should be on sort of live now. I know. Oh, you are. Sorry. So there's my tray. It's not anything fantastic. Well, uh, it's nice. It's pretty. It's absolutely. Like it. I was going to put trolls around there, but I thought when I'm picking it up all the time, yeah, it's probably going to come off unless I stick them down with Yoohoo or E6000 or something like that. Yeah. So there's the bottom. Da, 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 da. Uh, and just it's done it. And there. Yeah. So, oh, and just beautiful. I mean, some things you just don't have to put lots and lots of stuff on, do you? No. Do you know what I mean? For them no. to be nice. I it's mean, nice. yeah, and sometimes it's the technique of doing something as well. well that's I like the fact we've done it two different ways, and yet we've had such um, a wonderful time making it, and B, two different ways of it coming out. So I think that's just, that's just beautiful. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. So... Thank you, Rianne. Thank you, Gillian. Thank you, Tammy. So please pop on over to Angie's channel. Angie, will you type a comment in the comment section so everybody can see your um, channel name? So you can just click on your name. Yeah. Um, Angie's doing that. Um, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody that popped over tonight in tonight's live. Honestly, um, like I say, and I shouldn't forget, but I do, and it's bad of me to say, that without your support and your comments, um, and I don't even know how many thumbs up we I've got for this video. Nine. Nine, that is amazing. Oh my word. Nine thumbs up. That's absolutely immense. Thank you so much to everybody that's given us a thumbs up. Um, we do try and uh, make different things. Um, and even though we've got two very different styles, I love the fact that we're doing the same project but different ways. 
and that's what makes what we do really special so thank you so much angie for showing us what you've been making through the week and oh. the way you've made your tray thank you it's darling fun. i appreciate that Honestly. thank you so much for having me i know i'm i'm, I'm a pain but it's been wonderful oh thank you sweetheart I'm going to leave it on Angie because you guys know what my tray looks like and my embossing things. So I haven't got anything new to show you. But I just want to say thank you so much to everybody that's given us a thumbs up. That's gone up to 11 since I've said 9. So that's immense. Um, thank you so much to everybody that left us lovely comments and suggestions. And like you say, if you know for a challenge in the week, um, give me a message and I shall give you a big shout out um, every Friday that I do a live. Like you say, um, the challenge I know of at the moment that's going on is Tambera Lillian Crafts. And lucky enough, she is um, in the live chat and she is Tambera Lily Crafts stamping Tambrone. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, Tambourine. Tambourine, there we are. <laughs> Oh, no star. No star, everybody. Um, good night. God bless. Have good a good day. Day. Lots. Mwah. Love you again, wherever you are in the world, and keep safe. And I will catch up with you next week. Bye for now, ladies. Bye. Bye.